On the horizon of this forest path, you see a group of dark cloaked figures slowly trudging towards you. What do you do? My half-orc barbarian braces her great hammer, and that's a one. Critical fail. Steve, what do you do? Well, I believe in anticipation, my rogue would try and hide behind a tree. Okay, I rolled a one. That's another critical fail. Tom, what does your human bard do? Active perception check. It's a natural 20. Let's fucking go. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. These motherfuckers mean to harm us. And they got to go, so come on, get them now. You picked the wrong day to fuck around with my ties. Come on, oh, oh. So I'm skipping it. I can perceive you. Here's what we're gonna do. Me and my boys gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Fuck. My boys are otherwise engaged. So I'm gonna bring it on myself. Hey. I forgot, you're supposed to tell me what I see, right? Yes, thank you. Let's just slow it all down a bit. So you notice that one of the hooded figures is a little shorter. I cast Vicious Mockery. Nat 20, let's go. You're a short motherfucker and nobody likes you. Short! Everybody says, I'm fucking short that guy is. And that stops you from forming meaningful relationships. And when you were born, everybody thought that you were just a head. But then the doctor said, wait, this is super motherfucker time to short us. Baby, got a tiny little itty bitty. And I hate it. Your attack lands and absolutely shatters the mind of the cloaked figure. Perception check, please. Matt 20, let's go. You perceive the figure was so short because it was a child. It's always a kid. Specifically the child you've been looking for for the last 15 days game time and five days of our actual lives. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know I'll be better. His body's just lying there, right? Right? Yes. Don't. Loot that body. Loot that body now. Loot that body. Loot that motherfucker. Play the flute when I loot. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Killer Frequency. For those that are watching the VOD right now, this is the second stream of the day where we did Parasocial just a few minutes ago, and now we're going to be doing a long five-hour game about a guy in a radio station where he has to help out people to not get killed by a serial killer. Yay! I mean, I think the games are... Pretty similar, anyway. It's about, like, a person stuck in a single place trying to not get killed by, like, a weird stalker killer dude. So I thought that it would be, like, thematically appropriate to stream in one day, you know? I missed out on the previous stream. Don't worry, Bepper. I mean, it was a pretty good stream, but you always have the VOD just in case if you want to watch it. The Dancing Michael Myers? Oh, yeah. Uh, I always have, like, a TV at the bottom right with, like, an appropriate stream GIF or image. Now it's bigger. Before it was, like, very small, but now it's bigger, so people can, like, uh, see stuff better. Hello! This is your favorite radio show host. Oh, you're being murdered! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that, basically. I looked at the Steam page for this game, and it was very funky 80s aesthetic. I really like how this game looks. And considering that this is the second stream of the day, I don't really think that I should just be, like, waiting around for the time to start. I think I'm just gonna start right away. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Fugi. Welcome to the stream, Turtle King, Square, Fartface. Hello there, Joseph Lee. Hello there, Nutella. Hello there, Cat Dude. Hello there, Neon the Cartoon. Christian SGV. Hello there, buddy. Hello there, Chrissy. Hello there, Corbin Bell. Hey, Purple Max. How's it going? Hey, Mr. Grottle. Hey, Noel. Hey, Uvi Foss. All right. Let's get this party going. We're gonna just start immediately. I need to turn on the sound for this game. Very excited to get to this. A lot of people recommended it. Especially, like, for one of the first games to play during Season 4. So, let's go. Look at the way that the UI is affected by, like, me selecting the option. Like... This game, like, already has, like, the killer, like, super aesthetic that I love. Let's start. Ooh, the loading bar! Movement. WSD. Move camera with mouse. Alright. Pick up objects. <laughs> Thank nice. you. Hey, Chrissy! Thank you for the one gifted membership. Object interaction. You can hold two objects between your hands with... Oh, nice. 
You can throw objects with R. And drop the object. Nice. Hold to place ob hold right click to place the object when in a valid location. That was not a valid location. Hey Nano Abyss, thank you for the one gift of membership. More sacrifices! More sacrifices! Hmm? Hmm? Throw. Oh, am I stuck? Did I do something? Hold on. Oh. Okay. Nice. Blood for the blood god. Alright, don't be creepy already, man. Koyo. Hey, Purple Max, thank you for the five dollars. That's so. I'm going to skip out on the stream, but you waste. I want to play this game blind. Good also, choice. What's the name of the outer song of the last stream? Off to finish Luigi Manison 3 by. I forgore. Oh no, staycation. I love that. Uh, inspecting objects. Press E to begin inspecting. Hold E and move to rotate the object while inspecting. Oh, there we go. That's what I was doing before. Kind of a Resident Evil 7 like inspection system. I like that. Hmm. This mug sucks. No, it's a pretty cool mug. I don't know what you're talking about. Press control to toggle crouch. Kind of a weird lag on that, but fair enough. Hey Liam! Welcome to the toxic cesspit. Just throw that in there. Yeah, you can tell that this game is, like, very, very stylized. Everything has, like, a weird black outline around it. Opening doors. Hold and move in the direction indicated. Just like Amnesia. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, hello there. Aren't you a creepy one? Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. That's a good way to start a game! Yeah! Thank you, Sora Studios, for the $3. Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know... How? Forrest, is this a joke? Ooh! No, I, I almost swore I heard something. What a killer oh, intro. And here I was, thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. <laughs> but I mean, does Gallows Creek Thank have you. a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats Hyphus moved in. Gnome. Anyway, Been watching you ready your to do the pre on and off for a few months mm -hmm. now. Figured that now that I have a paycheck, I can show a little support. Thank you, Ash. Uh, thank you so much for the donation. This game is already stunning. Oh, hell yeah. Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for the show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. That. But if you're sure you don't want to... Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ desk? Let's do our... Let's do the checks. Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Yeah! Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Aww. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. 
phone line? Oh. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. I like this girl. Oh, Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Hey, Phil, this Great. game takes four and hours to complete at best, so you're say. in for the best so, game of 2023. Let's Woo. move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. The hmm. giant is P there button. A Peggy mute button. <laughs> Press for Peggy. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Aw, that's cute. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. Aw. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. Oh, that's not the sound blaster. <laughs> hey Phil, this game takes four hours to complete at best, sound and you're blaster. in for the best Slide game 2023. Right. Oh, there we go. This. Right in front of the desk. One eighty nine point six. There we go. Oh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Right. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Let's leave this one here. No. Oh. Uh, leave the record there. Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts. Ooh. All right. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Play it backwards. Now, let's get the show started. Mm -hmm. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. This is fun. This is a fun okay, work environment. Okay, let the music off. All right. You. Okay, you're live in three, huh? two... 189.16. 12 a.m. Yeah! Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess, guess that, that scream. scream. We need you to guess why the scream. Oh. Holy shit. Hey, Robotic Hurricane. Thank you for the $150. Hey, wanted to wish you a great time and glad to have you back. Thank you. I love this game and hope you like it. Keep up the great videos. Thank you, Robotic Hurricane. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Oh, man. A lot of fucking donations for some reason. Stub their toe. Thank you so much. Finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one. What? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Shit. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Ah, uh, come on, don't be a party pooper. No, I, I don't have the tape. Maybe yeah. Tape, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. This We're is true. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. Time to scream. I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater This game reminds town. me of the movie Monty Pool. Have you heard hmm? of it? If not, you should really check it out. I have not. Hmm. Come on, Forrest, just do it. 
That's enough dead air already. Let's go. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Let it rip. Oh God. Come on, Forrest, Sorry be a streamer. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Come on. Drowning. Well, folks, oh, here's what. There you have it. I found the tapes. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. What? Just call in at five 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 two three nine K fan. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. I did it. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their Ooh. Exxon 1980X. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. I like this game. I like I like the atmosphere of this game. It's pretty nice. Also, the purple like lighting outside the window is like very stylish. Oh, of course. There's a call coming in. Oh shit. Time to turn the music off. Alright. Just leave it right here, baby. Welcome to 189.16 the stream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Mm -hmm. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. <gasps> <laughs> slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. Uh -huh. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Oh. I think this is real. Shit. Maggie, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. <laughs> Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. This is giving me big not for broadcast vibes. I also need to play that game. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know oh, what happened what? to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say... 1987. Him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh, is there anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Oh! Ridiculous. We have three! <laughs> Leslie, Shit. do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. Oh, but if you leave while there's a murder around the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. <gasps> yeah! First, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Uh, why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. Don't say that live. I'm a 911 operator, why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. I literally have the no experience. only person equipped for the job. Besides... There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Ooh. People talking, you know? 
guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You are kind of a party pooper. talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. I like this. I like well, this concept. let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. <gasps> I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. Ugh. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Puzzle room. There's gotta be another way in. Oh shit, huh? Thank you, Sheldas, for the 20 euros. I woke up and felt generous. Stay away from serial killers, people. Hell yeah, thank you. Uh, can't break through the cell. Another set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. That is true. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Nice. Where might another set be? Uh, officer Have desks? Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check, too. Shit. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Oh. Sorry, Sheriff. No. I'm just gonna turn you over and. Oh. <laughs> Dead people so usually scary. carry the best loot. <laughs> Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. All right. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Pretty good. Fuck you. I, can han I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting KFAM if this is a prank. I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I nice. This town. Fuck never yeah. Heard of anything like, like nailed this it. Happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But Loot we're here that now, body. Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Loot that body. I'm sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car. Loot that dead officer's I'm back. body. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Hmm. You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else, responding to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy Ooh. just work together like a few <laughs> You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, she dead. What? My car. Hey, techno musician. Welcome to the toxic success bay. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. <gasps> what? No, no way. This can't. Oh, well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask is... Yeah, 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 yeah. hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The Whistling Man. The Whistling Man? Who's the Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. Exposition before you die, but woman. He's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh Zombie! Do you think... Think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? No shit, idiot. He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. <gasps> there should be police cruisers at the sheriff's. What is that right? cruiser? Like, you should take one of those. I. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh, <laughs> Look the body! Look yes, the body! Got him. Keys for 
on car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The Toddy, right man is right leave there. him. Uh, I mean, Martinez gun. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Fuck. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I, I like this already. This is so good. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Uh, can you see any other weapons? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. A taser, 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 taser. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, yeah. pepper spray, and taser. Taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying. Deputy T taser, obviously. What should I take? Taser, obviously. I mean, it's got to be the taser. Yeah. Right? Got it. I'm just <laughs> going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No, I I can't hear anything. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. It. It's a it's a horror movie. Don't do that. Okay. Deputy no. Martinez. <sighs> Thank you, Lakers. Welcome to the talk success, babe. It's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Okay. Are you sure about this? No, this is really bad. No time like the present, right? Shit. No, woman, don't so, be a hero. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now. So I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Taste that fucker. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Bye bye. Good luck, Leslie. <laughs> this is awesome That's already. A brave woman. Yes. God, I hope she makes it through this. Fuck yeah. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really what is this? wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. It's a map of the well, town. They always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Where's the deputy's office? Shit. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. <gasps> I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, we're here. Over. We're here. Leslie. I'm so fiddling I, I around with headphones. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Debbie Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Oh. Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Ooh, they pace her! Drive! Leslie, drive! Sounds like you handled that pretty well. Yeah. Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. No shit. Oh my God, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my I God. feel how you're doing. I'm enjoying well, the shit out of this game, Jen. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Aww. Leslie, how long we did it? Take to Good. Go? Gallows Creek as a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. Hmm. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh, shit. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. This is fucking, this is fucking great. This is anyway, awesome. Once I'm in, this is awesome. Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. Good. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. All right. Try not to crash. It's really bad in horror movies. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. 
Nice. You heard it here. We've got a killer on the street. Where we're still alive tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're still alive. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile, if you have anything on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. Nice. We'll talk here on 189.16, the scream. For now. Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. <laughs> enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. This is awesome. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. The Word. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? Okay, I need to study this the map. This going to kill half the town in four hours. Four hours. Yes, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Edward Marshall. Where's the Moody police station? Went around in a freaky mask. Okay, that's the radio station. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Shit. No reason for it. No motive. He just did it. Trailer park. Power station. Eastside Macready Street will be closed from 2nd to 9th of September for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Thank you for your patience. Unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Oh, where is it? Macready Street. What? Oh, shit. What? Oh. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. Oh. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Probably Dead. a zombie. Story? story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's mm -hmm. the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield. Where's Haddonfield? Okay. Yeah, they can't access this part. Between September 2nd and 9th of September. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. September. I guess so. Yep, <sighs> we're fucked up if we... We, we, out, I guess. we need to make sure that we don't kind of send anyone through this street. This time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. 35 people to save. We need to do our best, chat. Okay, I need to really... Okay, where is the police station here? Little shop of flowers. Oh, like little shop of horrors. That's cute. Sheriff... Okay, there we go. There's the sheriff's office. So she went and got out of here through Romero Street. This is the whistling point. Okay, Trailer Park, Docks Pharmacy, St. Gabriel's Hospital, West Gallows Cemetery. And we are sandwiched in between Infinity Arcade, Rise and Shine Coffee, and Sign Film Picture Horse. Oh. Huh. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Jesus. Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. This guy's popular! The whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. 
Yeah. All right, I guess Forrest. We're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Jesus Ooh, Christ. Oh, coming in. Take it when you're ready. All right. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Okay, uh, At least you're not it? whistling. Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Another parasocial guy. I see. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Oh, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Fuck you. Yeah, it's a prank. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. This is a serious situation. <laughs> Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Yeah, 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 yeah. A sacrifice to us. <laughs> you f cheese dusted pretzels, you fu That's stoner food. Fuck you. I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. <laughs> This guy can't even fucking whistle. Not yet. I want to deal with it. Yeah, Forrest! You can do it, boy. Also want a mega call. All right. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. <laughs> uh, uh, a wise choice. See you soon, Morris Nash. Okay, where's the gas station? Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to oh. the gas station to buy anything for these kids, and none of you should be going out tonight either. All right, we've got an actual killer out there. Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride yeah. with the Glam Jam. This hey, is a nice what job. What was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? Well, they're stupid it's kids. A thing? A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this Yeah, minors are character. fucking stupid. It's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That... Leslie. Pretty sure now, no, man. That, that's real. <sighs> Those were some pretty Christ. good whistles. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. We have a call waiting. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Straight. What? Uh, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. All right. Uh, don't don't tell her that. That's do not. If you're if you're a 911 operator, you don't freak out the person that called 911 further. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now since I'm dressed like the whistling man, is after me, knife in hand. Oh shit! Jazz studio. It's actually happening. All right. Uh, a jazz run. Bad night to go out for a run. Don't be an asshole, Forrest. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? 
Oh, I did, baby. Ah. Uh -huh. Jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door. At least Jazz ran. Okay, so she has to be in the jazz studio, right? Or, like, near around that. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Can you go back and find your keys? No, that's bad. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Can I save? I can save! I can do save stations! <gasps> Fuck yeah! Okay. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Oh shit! You're listening to 189.16, The Scream, hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host. Aww. Anakin, savior. Aww. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. That's so adorable. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Mm. They look the same, though. Train I know, station. But they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh shit, I can actually go out. Hell yeah. I can't interact with this board, right? Yeah, okay. Need to make sure that this, I need to make sure that this street, like, this street is currently closed, just in case, like, someone tries to go in there. Okay. A lot of the same kinds of mugs. Fam. Oh, okay, fam. <laughs> That's a stupid joke. I like that. From below, it came. Creepy hour. Ooh. Megabyte, the future is now. Same magazine. No oh, shit, it's the witching hour. I love the lighting, it's so stylish. Shit, am I gonna have to hide from the serial killer in one of these? You know, at the very least, he's being occupied so by the people. Doors, so few keys. Can I put my face in here? No, Forrest actually has some common sense. Flashbang. Alright, I can get some coffee, I guess. Gallows reporter. Hi... GC High wins big game. Completely illegible after that. Oh. Attention staff, please stop putting stickers on office furniture. You're lowering the resale value of everything. Reggie. That's a lot of phones. Can't open any of these. Okay, this looks important. This has to be important. Ah, shit! Stop reading my mind, Forrest! Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine? Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Oh, he's gonna go into the shitter with that. Trash. 
trunk. Screwdriver. Mechanic on duty. I guess I have to go to the bathrooms to get that? Ooh. What is that? Gallows Creek Chili Cook-Off Champion, 1984. <gasps> it's like a small chili man! Yeah! Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Hey, Hero Brian! Welcome to the toxic cesspit. Shit. Scream! Oh, can I close this? No. Where's the magazine? Oh! I love the sound effects. There you go. This looks useful. Yo, Peggy, I got some shit. Fixing all cars. Oh shit, it actually is useful. Actually, before I before I get into the into the office, let's read this. Hot wire your ride. Keys keyless entry techniques. Use a screwdriver as a key if that fails. Remove the steering column over. Check the serial number and then strip and twist. The following wires together. Oh shit, this is gonna be so difficult. If there is a four before a three and no seven in the number, red and blue. If there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five, green and brown. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, red and yellow. Oh man! Now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Step five, brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Oh no. If the radio turns on and won't turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. If the alarm is sounding, cut the triple braided green wire. What? The left pink wire, if the alarm is sounding, cut the triple braided green wire, not the double braided green wire, or the quadruple braided green wire! Doing so will mess with the electronics! Oh shit! I'm gonna save! Alright, let's go help that lady! I got the shit, Peggy! Oh, I can actually hold it and look at it while it's happening. Okay, good. You find anything? Yes. Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that Shit. sounds perfect. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh boy. Oh, one paper ball basket made it from made it from the desk. Nice. Shit, are we ready, Chad? It's keep talking and nobody explodes. Yup. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. Caller on line one. Thanks, Shit, here we go. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay, good. How do we start this, baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist the twist clockwise. <laughs> Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. Forest, what the hell, brother? 
Okay, put the screwdriver in the ignition. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist. Yeah, this is keep wires. talking and nobody you explodes. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What? What next? If that fails, uh, unscrew the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Jazz turn, jazz turn, jazz turn. Oh. How long are these screws? Okay. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here. Shit. Shit. Oh god, my heart. Shit. Shit. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Just breathing. Okay. Just breathing. We can do this. Good. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Uh. What's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Good. Okay, it's uh, red and yellow. Twist the red and yellow wires. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh? Huh? Shift. Uh, strip the purple wire, but don't touch the live wire. Um, strip the purple wire and brush it against the twisted wires. Wait. Brush. Brush it against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Yes. Okay. Oh! Yeah, look at Peggy! Fantastic work, baby! Fuck yeah! Time you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Nice! Oh, uh, just keep driving. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby! Yeah! Did you leave the phone on the floor? Anyways. Fuck yeah! Here comes another Keep talking and nobody dies! Excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to No 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 talk motors here on 18916 Monday to Friday at five. Alright, that was goofy. Alright, well, time to put on some music and celebrate. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit. Crying for help. Jesus. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. I'm gonna save again. I don't wanna like redo what that. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Hey, don't say that. Miserable? Aw, Forrest, don't be an asshole. Come on, you're doing you were doing great. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or Hell, it's not You really need to watch anywhere. the movie Cars, well, man. I like it here. People are polite and... Except the serial killer. Uh... Stab happy. Stab happy. Don't be awful for us. Oh, sorry. Come on, there must Had be take something it. you like about this place. Some folks have been okay. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Ah. Oh. Not terrible Sundere. after a while? Sundere Forest. Forest. Is coming from Forest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Yeah, anyway, city boy! I hope the killer is done for the City night. boy! But Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Who knows, maybe Forrest's like 
scream fucking brought him back to life. Brought the serial killer Color back to life. Line one. Oh shit. What you got, buddy? Time to turn the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest! Phil, you just press cancel to save. Oh, shit. Good thinking, My thank you. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hey, Pepino, how you doing? Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. Yay! I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Are you just trying to... Uh, really are you just trying to, like, promote thanks, your restaurant? Uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you I'm sending you yeah, he's promoting his restaurant. Pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, that's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. You should probably also lock your doors. Oh. Do. If you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running. <laughs> I fucking so knew it. For Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you. The pizza we have is to die for. Oh, no, 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 no. Boo. <sighs> yeah, that thing that was pretty tasty, I have to say. Don't worry hey, about don't it, worry man. About it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Pondy's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous... Beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling <laughs> in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Yeah. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? No. Nope. In-flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Right, Shadow Legends. Stick it in the player. What did that? Yeah, that. I know how to operate one of these. Hold on. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you. I know, Peggy. Just, just look, give me a minute. Blaster. Give me a minute. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. There we go. Nobody knows how to operate these fucking Done. things. Today's sponsor, Great Shadow Legends. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to oh, double your loud. power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only twenty-four ninety-nine? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. This is a thing here. By video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Where is that? You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror: the power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video <laughs> sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. I don't know, Just by 1987 price standards, price that's pretty pricey. First step to becoming a champion. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that sounds pretty pricey for like 1987 standards. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy God today, damn it. you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado technique and karate love me. What? Call today. Local Beatseria calls 911 to promote really themselves. Kind of Get hung up and the 911 like starts interested. thinking they're sponsors. Not... This is not 911. Wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. 
Yeah, I bet karate love making shows. We need sponsors uh, to uh, fucking yeah. please. <laughs> Is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just Brian should show. give us money. Wow, what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Sure. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. All right, let's go. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Oh, shit. Forrest Nash? No. I want to speak to 911. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. This is 911. Don't worry. God, another one? I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. I, let's, just, just let me help you, dude. Me on with Sheriff Matthews. He's dead. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are no, you, I'm in the fucking radio station. Reporter? you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. <sighs> Just tell us what's happening. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot. No, 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 no. as the whistling man. No, 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 no. Teens. They get worse every year. No. This punk wasn't even a disappointing Twinkle in his daddy's eye. Jesus, man. When Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't think it's a teen. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, <gasps> old man. But they didn't live through the terror. 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward nice. Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. Dude! What if he killed Sheriff Matthews? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security God damn cameras it. all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. No, he cannot take the whistling man. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Shit. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Shit. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Are you stupid, Peggy? set up across the office, right? In different rooms. Oh. With different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Ah. Uh, and get an interview. An exclusive interview. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. That could be interesting. Nice! No, I mean, we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. Yeah, I let's interview the bitch. You, you know? The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Also, Sorry, get this Maurice. fucking thing out of Peggy here. And I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds. You got any right? better, bitch? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Eh? Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Well, can I just... Oh, oh there we go. There we go. There we go. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Nah, he'll be Mr. fine. Russell. I'm here. Check your fax machine. What? Don't let me down. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be, Be right, right back. back. 
Okay, go to the office on the other end of the hall, grab the fax from the machine, easy. All right. There's a f I'm not getting in there tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta help, gotta help all boy. Is this it? Yes. This must be it. Oh! <gasps> Shit, okay. Okay, so we can activate different phones. Interesting. And that, those are the stairs that are blocked off by the filing cabinets. Okay, but where is he, though? Okay, that's interesting. Nice, 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 nice. All right. I'm gonna save. And check this out. We got... One... One for the archives, two for the kitchen, three for the editor's room, and four for the boardroom. Ah, uh, all right. What the fuck is the secret archives? All right. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> Mr. Russell, you, uh... You still with us? I am. You get my facts? Yes. Wait, he must be at the... If he faxed this in, then he must be at the boardroom. Yeah, I got it right here. Yes. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the oh my god. Whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Mm hmm. And now he's in the office next door. In the office space. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. Yes. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? The third one. In the editor's. Office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You should go to. Oh. Hmm. Archives. You're moving to the archives. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. Nice, nice, I'm ready nice, to place nice. The call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice. This is so fucking cool. Make the call. This is so yes, cool. Sir. Calling. I love this. Now. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you can fucking hear it through his phone. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! Yeah, 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 yeah. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Good, good, good. Oh, good, don't good. mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Ah. Uh, do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Wait, shit! But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that. There's barricade. a door to the secret archives in the editor's room. I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Shit. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could Oh! Call incoming. You ready? <laughs> ready as I'll, as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alright, save game. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Understood, uh, sir. Right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is the Holy shit! Blue. <laughs> Thank you, Dalad. Which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Right. 
Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be hmm. able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Hmm. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Right. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. That's awesome. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? That's not the time. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be This game is it. awesome. I'm You're so right. invested in this. Sorry, I love it. There's barely any visuals. Big time now. Okay. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. Right. You can't break out. If we can get him in there and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, should yeah. I call the secret archive then? Yeah, there's no extension. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't The have reverse a podcast game. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Uh No, you can't use yourself as bait. Is there a TV in there? You saw radio? What do you mean? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Right. <laughs> I hope he's... I hope he's a 18, 9, 16 Scream fan. Glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late I love the writing show. to this game. It's so fucking Jesus cool. Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian. They Ponty. fucking know the pizza guy. Don't be a Ponty for us. Jesus. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. Right. It should be here in the archive. Actually, let me just take a peek around. Okay, good thing we got Great that. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. Good shit. Okay. Yep. That was a. I did it. It was me. Ahead. It was all me. Exactly as planned. It was all me. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. Mm -hmm, I'm just mm -hmm. going to turn it on quickly. Make sure it's still got some juice. Marie, turn the volume, turn the down. volume Holy down. Holy shit. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh shit. That, that would have been really bad, actually. Holy shit. Okay, good. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Huh? Nearly got killed. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Alright, save the game just in case, because that was a quick one. Stupid thing turned up. How am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just. Oh. Fuck. But wait, we're the radio. Yeah. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that. <laughs> yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I got the radio on site. Okay, no, but I need to turn I down. Tuned it. I need to turn this down. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Hold on. Oh. Uh, b shit, fuck. Hold on. I need to turn this down. I can't turn it down all the way. It's bullshit. Um, uh, a boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Make the call. 
Okay, calling the boardroom now. Woo! He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll call the killer a jackass. No, just impersonate Mr. Uh... Um, impersonation, peekaboo, impersonate. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak the slip. What a wow, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. No, that's pretty oh, good, actually. Coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. All right. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the killer's going. And the killer's I can try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. This is true. Alright, I think that this is a pretty big decision Your point. judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Oh, behind the door would be the smartest. Yeah, because if you move, you take a, if you take a while. Oh, you could hide inside of the secret archive and then just rush to the door and then lock him be look it behind them. Uh, at least I don't have time to think about this. I mean, at least I have time to think about this. Uh, Alright, let's try to do the cabinet. Chad, what's do the cabinet? Hide in your cabinet. Alright. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. <gasps> don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. <laughs> Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.6. Go. <laughs> Hello, Atomic Sparks. Thank you for the twenty dollars. I had a feeling you would play this, so I've been waiting to experience it till you did. Thank you. Have fun and happy early Halloween. Hopefully, you're having fun on the stream. Dream. And if you've just tuned in, see you in hell, kid. Yeah. We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Hell yeah. Forrest, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I can't believe it either. If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. <laughs> Thank God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. Aww. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hell yeah. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. Yeah! Oh my God. Holy shit, thank you, Sheldos, for the 200 I euro. The last one. I hope that you are able to feed yourself tomorrow, but thank you for the donation nonetheless. Holy shit. Okay. 
That's enough, buddy. Yeah, that's that's good. That's enough, buddy. Thank you. Brains. I'll take that as a yes. Whoa. Talk to you soon. Also, nice go, victory music. Yeah. All right, let's put on some killer tunes. Yeah. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? Yeah! You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Well, what do you want to know? All right. Shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your Fuck family. Yeah. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Hey, Cosmic nope. Nightshade. Welcome to well, the Toxic Cesspit. Too specific. Too specific? I... Ugh. Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, Shock Jumping Christ. Walrus, for the gift of membership. That's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. God damn no. it. <laughs> Get fucked, I whistling man! The same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then hey, he Karen Neko. Welcome to the toxic cesspit. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Peggy, anyway, I thought that you Mr. were interviewing Weaver me. Mr. got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive. Siblings? This a, I chose a very that. good piece of music for this. No. Not anymore. Uh, I had a sister. Yeah. Hold on. Huh? Someone just rang the door buzzer. What? what on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Oh, did he get pissed off? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fam regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Understood. I'm on it now. Um, yeah, Forrest did read out the, on the, front door. the radio station, didn't he? Forrest did fucking literally reveal to the killer where okay. we were. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Uh, shit, boy, I think you might be fucked. That's not opening. Nani? Mousetrap. Put it, put it for the serial killer. Locked tight. It's all over, boys. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Need to adjust my view of the game. Presume. me. We're alone with the serial killer now, boys. A tape. Ah. Play on air. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is going to be a, a problem. But while we're there, let's try to investigate this place. Oh, hold on. No, we can't move the mousetrap. This is a really nice office, Jesus. Actually, no, the wallpaper is kind of like... ...peeling off. But that's fine, it just means that it has history on it. Thank you. Hey, son, thank you for the five dollars. Howdy, Phil. Love the content. Kitties! Been here since post-shift to hell. Loving the new art. Thank you, son! Hopefully you're enjoying this stream as well. Needs a key. As Azel 
as they all put a lot of effort into the into this new model. All right, let's play this fucking snuff film on air, live on air. Can I go outside here? No, but we're probably gonna run from the serial killer in like through here. Cats, 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 cats. Yo, Peggy, I found I found a snuff tape. You wanna hear it? Yo, Peggy. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. Maybe it's a request. All right. Put it on, I guess. What the fuck, Let's Peggy? See what it is. You're not even you're not even gonna read it. Okay, well, yep. Oh. Fucking whatever. Let's go. You're the boss. <laughs> Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh. Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Mm. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. The killer really knows how to work audacity. You, you can get us on 911. Yeah, 911. The the serial killer made a YouTube poop of our voices. Fuck. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh uh, shit, boys. Here we go. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream with Ash. Shut up and listen to me. Ah. Uh. What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. Fuck. So the one who left the cassette he really did escape. You mean you knew he escaped and you didn't tell me? I mean, you had to check, right? Out. We weren't even sure it was him. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs. Man, I just love cassette tapes aesthetic. Both exactly, buddies, Chrissy. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back. Dominating! Thank you, Dalad, for the 10 gifted oh. memberships. Nice. Thank you so much. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. Oh. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Did you let him escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Well, damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. Whistle, this whistle, in back, bitches. Idea. Fuck! Thank you. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. It's a fucking ghost! The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure? It's a ghost! I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... <laughs> you think it was some kind of ghost? You think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. The ghost I mean, knows how to how edit videos. Baloney. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. I mean, fair enough. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Got any song suggestions? Nope. He seems well. really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer? Yeah, I'm used to it by now. to be a demonic spirit? Okay, that part is new. He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? 1, 4 a.m. Thank you again, Mrs. McKay. It is I, the stream sniper. 
the Thank you, whistling man. The Fuck you. Store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. <laughs> Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches bad. Which you should. We're gonna remove suspects, in, like, based on if they can whistle or not. Ah, shit, I need some music. I, I forgot. We're a radio station. It's funky, it's groovy, it's... Stab in the night! Twilight by Knife and Easy. Da, 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 right, Peggy, da, da, da. I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. All right. You stopped the show for a tape? Just go get it. Okay, 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 okay. Play me ASAP off air. Oh, this fucking music slaps though. All oh, right, I have to take out the actual tape that's in here. All right, put this next to the other sponsors that we have. This is a cool music. Well, that was annoying. Anyways, I'm off to go visit a certain nurse. I have no idea what that means, fucker, but we'll find out. Or try your call again. <laughs> Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you've never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. Part of the I don't know. You know I don't know. I don't know. I do I don't know. 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 If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Uh, which one was it? Play it again. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you've never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash, prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest, mate, you all right? Oh, thank you. Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best Final word Final Breath. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Okay, okay, I understood. What do you think he's angry about? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? I have no idea. Maybe... No, probably not that. I don't know. Just go play it. Final breath. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my God, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where yes. is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. All right, let's put another song and go there. Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well. 
If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. All right. Should be somewhere downstairs, then? Bro, these songs' names are morbid, but they're cool, though. Don't tell me the serial killer's gonna be here. We're not along with the serial killer. Nice. Locked. For now. Shit. Oh. This must be it. Hell yeah! My tiny selection grows. Did I drop it? Wait, what? Where'd it go? Oh, I just... Oh, yeah, I just put it on my inventory or something. Cool song names, though. Yo! I got your shit! Should be around here, right? There we go. Stop this shit. Yeah, just throw it. Nice! I can't get that back. Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Yeah. Uh, next, courtesy of the British sensation himself is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. I'm like a real radio show host. Wow. God, Roddy's the Honestly, it kind of sounds like easy listening music. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Now, okay, that was a nice breather. I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, buddy. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! I love these characters. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First... Happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Three today. Aww. And being his daddy has changed my life. Aww. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aww. Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Fernando. Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. Are you along with the I serial killer? No. No, 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 buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. No, 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 it's okay. No! You don't have to be a man, man! Ah, this is a bad idea. No! Not the dojo tapes! Oh no. Oh shit. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Although, having heard that master Robbie ad earlier, uh, <laughs> well, don't get your hopes Don't up shit on your much. sponsors live on air, idiot. Anyway, we'll be right back. After this commercial. Speaking of which. Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh was a God. family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before He's him. so loud. Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, 
and he stands without Teddy numbers. Gallows Jr. jump like scare. Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Dude, he's dead. Mayor Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. That's a bad ad. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes You're gonna get canceled on Twitter. Dream. Does Linda Cartwright? You're gonna get. Help you're gonna Teddy lose Gallows subscribers, Jr. Teddy. Gallows Creek, a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Dude, the sheriff's My dead. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Fuck you, Teddy. God, what a jackass. Hundred <laughs> percent, great A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Nah, that's pretty uh, bad. He set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course. Oh, he's, he's a sports guys. fucking yep, bro. Lots of sports back in the day. And of never course. And anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Typical right winger. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. <laughs> that ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, right. sure. Right. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Let's save. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Is that the stupid fucking kids again? Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? <gasps> oh no, that's serious actually. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Okay. Jesus. Fuck. Hey, listen, caller. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So you saved them? All of them. We sure did. All of them. All You're of them. Safe yes. Hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Okay, Take okay, 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 rest, okay. Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. It's alright, it's alright. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? Yeah, save, fail. Will do. Mm. Can you run away? Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God. Call a neighbor? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Right. Wasted. And I'm about to get. Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's. Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she oh, was, yeah. I might know. Thank but. You. Hmm? Hey, David Baron. Have you met Bonnie? Yeah, he's a jackass, but I love his voice. Wait, the takeout. Huh? If we can get takeout to the frat. We can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Uh. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Takeout. Shit. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. <laughs> I love you, Forrest. You're gonna love this next track. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Auntie's Pizza. That's it, I think. Right. What should I pick? Ponty's Pizza. Do you really think a bunch of frat house dudes are going to order pizza? Well, they did just hear an ad. 
didn't they? In the radio? There we go, there's Ponty's Pizza! Okay, where is the frat house? Gallows Creek High. I mean, that's a high school. Ponty says beer? That is true. All right. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to the night. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Shit. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. Ponty we might save a life. The boys ordered from. Call the takeout pretending to be from the frat. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. Right. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. <laughs> Come on, Forrest. You're a good impersonator. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Fuck yeah. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, All right. Baby. God, where to start? Let's check the offices. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Offices and we have a kitchen. Food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... Oh yeah, the chili champion. I just have to look around. Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. All right. And nothing else. A thinking bird. <laughs> the grilling spree. That's that. That's mean. I mean, the killer hasn't actually killed anyone yet, unless you count the guy from the intro. Let's go. <laughs> Great part, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. This is a beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Spray will give you a free six pack of beer. <laughs> Dallas, the Grill State. Reaper. What? That's right. Order a meal deal from us, and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. He you killed the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, right. Six beers if Dallas High wins. Whoa. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. This town is kind of fucked up, Me man. Too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spree. I'll call off 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. This town is fucked up. I love it. I would love to live in this Free town. Six pack. Huh. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite Grilling Spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell you. me. Spare ribs. Oh. She's wisely. I can hear her breathing. Shit. Smile. Thank you, Whistling Man. And you're a pretty, pretty wealthy serial killer. All right. I also need to check below. I need to leave the people with some music, though, so let's continue. Spare ribs! Where the hell is not getting in there tonight. What? Okay. Let's go to the kitchen. Coco says, this is suburban Raccoon City. Now, you say that, but Coco, in the original Resident Evil games, Raccoon City was a suburban town. It's just that it was made incredible, like, way larger, like, later on. As the games went along. What the fuck? Oh, it's just, it's just metal drawings, never mind. Oh, but there we go! <laughs> All right, thank you. Genie and Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Huh? It's kind of weird. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. 
Most likely to win an Oscar. What's going on here? What noise was that, Phil? Don't worry about it. I need to go check the kitchen. That's a clue for later! Okay, that understood. Man, this is like a- this is like peak Halloween town. Every single one of their ads and products has something to do with murder. There we go, there's the kitchen. Ooh, beer. Noise. No missing persons numbers on this milk carton. Ooh. Anything here? Nope. I love it whenever games, like, implement, like, actually moving the object around. Ponty's Pizza! Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. One free beer for every point that Gallows High wins by in buying Tuesday's big game with every order. Right now we're on Wednesday, so the game already happened. Best pizza in town! He says, while being in a fucking trash bin. Jesus Christ. Ponty's Pizza, 555-972-2789. I kind of want a pizza right now, actually. Beer. More trucking. Future is now. Go Gallows High, I guess. Yeah, we win the big game. Yeah, I already saw this paper, actually. Seven days. Ooh. Is that a ring tape? Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, we did win. I, I can imagine that the frat boys would rather choose grilled. Like, the grill place rather than, Mon than Ponty's, right? Check back with me tomorrow. Aw, the arcade is just gone. I grade video cassette. This is aesthetic. Like, look at this. This is so 80s. I love it. I want a pizza or BBQ right now. Personally, I am more partial to pizza. But I don't know what I would think if I had to try Ponty's pizza, to be honest. Let's go. Yo, bitch! I found a lot of stuff. Are we gonna, like... Yeah, we're gonna talk. Hey, find anything useful? Um... What do you think, chat? Do you think we should go for Ponty, or should we go for... The beer guys? 28 beers or just one six packs? You for real now? Ponties. I said Ponties. All right, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Fuck it, we Are ball. You ready to get back on the line? Yeah, sure. Let's Post go. Make the call. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Mm. Ponty, cause it's 28 beers. And then they just throw the pizza on the trash? Fuck it! Yo, Ponty, my bro! Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Yo, Ponty! Ponty's Pizza! May I take your order? Fratman calling. Hey, dude. Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Hell yeah, bro. And may I take your order? Mm. 
slow roast pizza. Oh man, I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. Three hours? What nice the fuck? To see you back plus epic fine model film. Oh, thank you, Night Owl. Uh, thank you for the nine months as well. What do you mean three hours? What? For pizza? Never mind, just give me the garlic bread. Can't do it. <laughs> we're the only one that delivers. Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, can yeah. The folks at KFAM are... Yeah! I should really call them and let them know. <laughs> and now we wait. Yeah, it's we slow roasted, summer. right? Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Hang up. Here comes one of my favorites. I didn't even know that pizzas could cook that slow. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equally good? You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. Not <laughs> right. So between grilling spree and chalupa coppers. Mm, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really good nachos? Me, 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 me. On the day, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Nachos are pretty Maybe good though. I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. All right. What do you want, bitch? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, 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 this is Fretman Bunker. Hello, bitch. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> These yes. guys are wasted. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, oh man. shit. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Fucking Goose pranks. Sure, this is Goose. Sure. Whatever, it's Goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. Shit. I, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. What? Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man. Can <gasps> so, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. All right. Okay, okay, I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. My attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. Yeah, Bunker. Forest, line two. Okay. I love this game. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forest. <laughs> oh, Marty has arrived! Oh, thank God! He's gone and... Oh! Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Yo, bitches! Don't worry, we brought the beer! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, bitches! Fuck yeah! Thank you, Forrest! Oh, you dumb motherfuckers! You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes, 
Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest, did you hear what Virginia said earlier? Hmm? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. Mm. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. Literally. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Oh, shit. Here we go, baby. Hello, caller. You're live. This game is so fun. With me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. Okay, which one do you own? killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Terrible. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. Even though some of them are partying. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my store. Oh, you're going to do an ad, aren't it's you? It's a safe, family-friendly place. Oh. Let's what take the bait. What small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotions. But uh, since you ask, it's part of <laughs> the best and only pizza place in town. Come on down. I get yourself a back and deal on our two for one. God damn it. <laughs> no free ads. <sighs> I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. <laughs> Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. God damn it, Ponty. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Oh, hello? Am I on air? Sure, are. Hello, caller. hello. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. <sighs> I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You're going to die, brother. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight, to take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's code for sex. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. Oh, she's dead. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's <laughs> why I'm calling. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, oh. actually. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Uh, don't worry, Chad. It, it, no. So no! No, no, no! Yeah, no! Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again. No! Good talk. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Fucking nerds. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carm! I'm about to die a virgin! It was Listen, code Eugene, for sex! Breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry! You're in an empty fucking field. Well, How listeners. is this gonna happen? While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. There's a map of the maze downstairs. Oh shit. Uh, hold on. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers. If you yeah. dare. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. What? She, she's The 
well, let's go. What? Oh. You were gonna go last week. I thought the maze maze was for kids. It's not just for kids, Forrest. The maze maze is fun for kids and adults. <laughs> it has a lot of deep lore that is very dark and for mature audiences, Forrest. Fuck off! Maybe we should call Barbara then? But she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. Let go. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. I don't. Uh, How could you not know Forrest? Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. The, the front Never entrance. Work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Who wants to lose their virginity at the mace? No excuses. Just go and find something to help oh. us. Oh. Oh, 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 there's some weird side going on. Oh, oh. I don't want to break that. Get the with the program, Forrest! You know that tunnel of love? that got turned into like a Garfield, like... You know that, like, Tunnel of Love Garfield, like, attraction that people had a lot of raunchy sex in? I'm basically thinking about that, but for a maze. Mazes, 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 mazes. Mazes, mazes, mazes. If you don't know what that means, by the way, go watch Defunct Land. That video was amazing. Garfield was never the same after that ride. Where could the maze be? Datables. Hey, Odin, thank you for the seven months. Can't believe it's been seven months already. The Garfield yeah, sex tunnel. Underscore toxic heart. Thank you. Where is the thing? This is the reception, right? Reception room? Should be around here somewhere. Mm, am I looking in the wrong place? Find something that will help Eugene escape the maze. Okay, so there's definitely no maze stuff around here. Oh! There we go. Here's what I was looking for. Trash can. Oh shit. I love this game. I love these puzzles. These are like children's puzzles, but in the context of a serial killer. This is great. We gotta save Eugene from the maze. Nice music. All right, so tractor statue. Is that Among Us? No. Golden hay bales, pig statue, realistic looking horse statue, pitchfork statue, scarecrow, farmer's hat, mini barn, corn silo, and beehives. All right. That's enough for tonight, folks. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind, it doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. All right. Let's save this idiot. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the Gonna maze. Gonna save Eugene maze. from the maze size. Thank you, Christian. You're back on air. Oh. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran, and I I don't know where I am. I've been a 
Cross Road, facing a tractor statue. Okay, so that's one. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Crossroad facing a tractor statue, hay gold hay bales on his right. That is two on his right. Okay. Ah, shit, I need to solve a maze. <laughs> Thank you. Got kids hiding in the corn stalks with plastic baseball bats to swing at bare buns. I just watched the Garfield <laughs> video recently, Lamau. Thank you, Spikey, for the five dollars. Okay, uh... Okay, go... Left, left, Got it, got it, got it. Go, need to go to the left. Go left. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I went left. Yeah. Then tried a right. Yeah. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. You need to go back then. Backwards. Go backwards. Oh, Holy shit! Is that chainsaw? I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Uh uh. uh. Wait, so he went back and a crossroads. Pitchfork statue up ahead. So you need to go left. Just in case, let me save. Go left. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this guy seriously. He, so he sounds like he'd say, um, actually, on a daily basis. I'm like, okay, come on, man. Nerds are also people. Thank you, Sora. Jesus Christ, he has a chainsaw. Dude, just work on yourself. Love will come to you. Don't focus on getting pussy. What do you say? Oh, shit. Tiny barn ahead of him. Scarecrow behind him. Nothing to his sides. Tiny bar ahead. Scarecrow behind him. Okay. Nothing on his side, so he has to be there. You need to go... Go to the right. Go right. Run, run bitch! Anymore. Your virginity depends on it! I just passed a cordon silo. Yeah? Didn't see anything else. Just passed it. Ooh. Please. Where do I go? Uh just passed he passed a corn silo, didn't see anything else on the way. You should probably go right then, right? Go right. Yes! Fuck yeah! I'm out! Yeah! And my bike's still here! Oh, thank you, Forrest! No problem, man. I love you, Molly! You st oh. That was... Tense. We did it! I, think I held my breath the whole time. Fuck yeah! I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, this killer is getting why do you gonna get really Molly pissy with us. Kate? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, <laughs> I think you. she probably never left home. <laughs> if he perishes, we could be doing Molly a favor. Hey, come I on, mean, man! Don't be mean. Him, Hey, Crook, come on. Thank you for Nerds in, also Wolf. matter. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. What are you talking Next about? Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. <laughs> this game is fucking cool. Uh, I want more. More, 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 more. To Forrest Nash on 189.16. Nerds matter. Scream. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. 
Thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune for us? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Long Ride right, Home. Folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but... Uh, we don't have it anymore. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I threw it away. What? You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Ah. Come on, be professional. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Ah, oh, for shame. What do we do? All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. No, 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 We've no, 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 no. We've more important things to think about anyway. Hey! Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Aww. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Fuck. Music is important, man. You don't have any copies around here anywhere? Nice. Play a record for us. All right, fine. I mean, this one has a this one has a drive, right? Late night drive, maybe. You'll like this next. Oh, I'm sorry, Dawn. Dawn just sounds evil. Hey, man, maybe she was just shy. Why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. What? It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. This radio station barely actually plays any music. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest. Oh no, Murphy. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. What's wrong? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. No. I, uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn place of You came for the gallows waste disposal plan. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. At least he didn't kill you. I got a flashlight, but. Oh, oh he's God like. Damn. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're gonna die, bro. He will call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Shit. Hey, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? He, oh, God damn it. Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. Oh, and oh, Catherine oh, oh, oh. On the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be Shit. best to do this. 
Oh, okay, now we need to actually properly use the map. Yeah, so... East side, east side McGrady Street will be closed from s September for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. So, this entire thing... Up until here... Is completely covered up. So, anything from these streets, we are not going to be able to use. Peely Street seems to be the safest bet. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He Shh, just sh told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Yes. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. Wait, you're not gonna tell me where they were again? Oh, motherfucker! Oh! Thank you. There are more vinyls hidden around the station if you get bored of the music that you have right now. Mmm, good thinking, though I can't actually leave the room right now. Oh, I can! Fuck you! I'm gonna go out. I know it's an emergency, but we need to collect some... We need to collect some music discs. Hold on a second. Rip Murphy. No, 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 he'll be fine, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. We, we are gonna go just go into the back and check out this place. I haven't actually gone to the right side. So many locked doors, so few keys. Private? Locked tight. Alright, well, this is a dead end. Let's go back to Murphy. Sorry, Murphy, just sit right there. I need better music. <laughs> All right. Uh, Crooked Super Chats five pounds and says, Wait, where's the corn maze compared to the waste disposal? Could it be more than one killer? Well, we do spend a lot of time just chatting with uh, Peggy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the corn maze. So... He went from here to the right side. That's still like a whole town's walk in there. All right. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Mm. Oh, there we go. One, Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road. Right next to Romero Street. Wait, where is the corn maze compared to the waste disposal? Could right it be more here. THS in one killer? Okay, I can actually pick. That's good. We, we have some time. We have some time. Haddonfield Road. Right next to Romero Street. Oh, so it doesn't matter that... McReady Street is cut off. Orison? Residents will be unable to access the connecting road. So you can't... No, no, you can't go through McReady Street, so it's fine. Okay, so... Alex lives here. Catherine lives at the west end of Myers Lane. Where's Myers Lane? Axdown Lane, Newbury Lane, Jones Road, Williams Street. Morphe got cooked up. <laughs> Uh, okay, Myers Lane, there we go. West side of Myers Lane. Like here. Old Man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane. But he's very slow. And Fire Department, get more fire engines. Shit, man. 
Gallows Creek, a beautiful place to rest your bones. Once a challenging hunting ground for the very best, now a fun and friendly stop along your way. Whether you're here for sights or just passing through, if you see a stranger here, and then you've probably made a friend for the rest of your life. Aww. Mm, I forgot. Oh, there we go. There's the fire department. Okay, so we have to call Alex, right? That would be the best bet, in my opinion. All right, we're going to call Alex. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just worried that McCready Street is going to block off Haddonfield Road. Mm, Catherine is right there, Phil. On the west side. I mean, she can go... She can go through Peel Street, I guess. Catherine's probably best. All right. Call Catherine. All right. Give me a second. Hopefully, hopefully this is right. Gallium Angel donates five dollars and says, "I love how every inch of this game has macabre horror They're references." They're on the way. They'll yep. call from the plant. It's great. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. She. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hello, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... God damn it. I'm going in. Good. <gasps> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my you can do it, Catherine. Hmm. <laughs> See anything, Murphy? Murphy? Can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. <laughs> a little flashlight. Looks like old cans, bottles, and newspaper. Okay. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. That should be recycling. That should be recycling, right? Go to recycling. Recycling. Got it. Because newspapers and shit. <laughs> Thank you. I love how every inch of this game has macabre and horror references, gallows, Myers, Craven, etc. It's the best. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? I'm in a dumpster, man. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> I mean. It's newspapers, right? Uh, mm, hear anything? Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Put the receiver up to the lid. Turn it up. That is the crusher. That, that sounded like crushing, in my opinion. Catherine. Go to the crusher. Okay. It's super loud. We're almost out of time. There are three dumpsters here. One for Gallows Creek Council. Henderson disposal. And Wyatt Bridge Municipal. Okay, Henderson, right? What does it say on the newspaper? It's the Henderson headline. Per good. That's Open the Henderson container. I feel like I'm playing Dora the Explorer. I found him. Good. Let's hold it. It's coming down. Nice. Did we do it? We made it! Yeah! Oh man. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Man, I swear to you. Now, I'm gonna 
praise Fernando to be like you. Oh, you go, you go. Happy birthday, Fernando. <laughs> you just get home to your son, okay? Will do, Forrest. Happy birthday, Fernando. Also, there's gum well, underneath folks, the desk. Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Captain. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Hell Great yeah. job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. Aw, shit. Here we go. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. It's going to be see Ponty again, right? Say. It has to be Ponty again. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors. <sighs> this awful time. Oh, thoughts and prayers. Mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> All right. <sighs> You're a prick, Teddy. I mean... <sighs> I don't want to get political, but... <sighs> Fuck you. I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. I just want to make sure <laughs> our town is safe and prosperous. He doesn't give a shit. I kind of respect that. That's why the Gallows family factory founded by my father. He actually doesn't Theodore give a shit. C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Damn, he's good. You know what? Oh. I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem oh! is our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Holy you shit, this man! Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. <laughs> I always feel disgusted. I love these characters. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. This is the last we'll be one. Right back after these messages. All right, everybody. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back. Holy shit, that's loud. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Rash Queen Pageant, says, Cotton Hey, candy, Phil, hope you're doing dogs, well. Love the new model. Hole, Thank you. Pop, crokinole, country music, can jam, jams, jellies, jamborees, juggling, roller rickies, roller disco lessons, praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey, you this is pretty, there. This is pretty awesome, actually. And ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, written sand, licking, cracker, cracker. I love this guy. Oh. And fake tattoos, yeah! Pets, 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 <laughs> amazing maze, maze, square dance, and story swapping, spelling bee, quilt. This is the real rap. And sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest. I want to go there. Contest. And of course, our what? famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright. Fuck yeah. By Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically oh. taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. Yeah, no shit. Highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. 
All right, folks. Welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. I love That's this guy. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, Thank sticker you. set, or poster. There's a serial killer Let's running around. Have you, back show. have you been doing well since you originally left? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Thank you, Paxter. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Thank you for the five dollars. Would choose. Collar on line one. Here we go. Let's save a live. Hello, Collar. You're live on the screen. Get it? With me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> All right. Well, we got an emergency. Uh, hello, Collar. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I. <clears throat> <laughs> in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Shit. Okay, this is serious. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! She's just a kid. Don't fight back. Where are you? Where are you? Are are you somewhere safe? Oh my god! Oh my god! Stay with me, kid. Focus. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. All right. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder what? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. Um, there's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, what coming. the fuck? Where should I go? I mean, uh, I. Mm, the murder house. How should I know what's safe in the murder house? Uh, maybe there's like a window somewhere in the bedroom. The bedroom may have like a lot of hiding spots. Uh, go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... Don't move. Don't move. This is a pretty sick thing to do. What? <laughs> it's whistling night. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. <gasps> That's uh... Uh... Wait. Oh no. Who are you? Oh no, man! Oh. Everyone! Get, get fucked, inside. Jimmy! Everyone, run! You two, what are you waiting for? Scott Heather, you barricade the back! As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe, right? 
Give our time, but not much. <laughs> get fucked, Sorry, Jimmy! We have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house. Fucking murder house. Of course. The van. Who's got the keys? The mystery Jimmy van. Had them. Like, fuck, Jimmy. Ah, uh, my condolences. <sighs> focus, stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes, sorry. Loot the body! <laughs> we'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. You're multiple Jeannie? people. How can you not take Jeannie on a McPherson? single zombie? Our intern, Jeannie? Yes. Yeah. She's my best friend and smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Loot that body. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh... We're figuring out a plan, but everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad. Ah. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the type. Right, okay, I understand now, yes. But I... Shut up, you... Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. All right, yeah, I understand and what I to do. I don't do. know anything about your friends. Hold on a second, I know what to do. Damn kids never learn. Yeah, kids, I'm all right. Fucking stupid minors. Fucking ugh. All right, just hold on a second, Peggy. I'll be right back. What? Peggy, let me through. Nah, hold on. They're, They're just, just dumb, dumb kids. kids. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one. Goes out to all the trap kids out there. <laughs> I fucking love you, Forrest. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but under the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. You really didn't have the office space for one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right. I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. I'm liberated! Jimmy got fucking body. desk is downstairs. Fallen child. This is why you don't go out and fucking scare people in clown masks on Halloween. Wow, Forrest, you have a weak arm. Jeez. They really took Jeannie away. That... Where's the thing? Fucking measuring stick. Friendship quiz. This might work. All right, let's read the shit. Most likely to peak Mount Everest, Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face, Cynthia. Most likely to end up in prison, Seth. Most likely to escape prison. Jennifer. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Either Hot David or Heather. Okay. So Heather is pretty good with sports in general. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. Jimmy. Well, that's that, that's not really an option anymore. Most likely to win an Oscar. Oh, wait. Jimmy was driving the van. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, most likely to win an Oscar. Lisa or Tammy? I think Lisa might be our best bet when it comes to, like, talking or, like, acting. Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Scott. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. Jimmy. Yeah, you think? Most likely to end up in a car crash. Scott. Okay, so Scott is not driving anymore. 
we can probably leave that up to Jennifer, maybe? Yeah, I think I think it could be Jennifer. Alright, let's go. They never liked Jimmy. He was just their designated driver. Fair enough. Let's go. Let's save some kids. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Save. Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. Yes. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. Well, obviously Heather. Heather. Kyle and Hot David. Obviously Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. <laughs> Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Obviously, Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? <laughs> Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Mm. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. <gasps> oh, Carrie is not in here either. The Carrie is not in this list. He's a new member of the of the friendship group. That's kind of sad. This plan is uh, <laughs> well, it's ambitious. Thank you. Hmm. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Right. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Hot uh, David. Cynthia and Scott. It has to be Hot David, Ryan. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you uh. are. <laughs> He's fist bumping in the background. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Now the tricky part, the getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. You are. So... Miners. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Ooh. Has to be either Lisa or Tammy, right? Worst poker faces on Cynthia. So Lisa. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. Yep. That should take care of the killer. And that sounds about right. Time to get out of here. Finally, part six. Shit. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be? Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Well, obviously Chad, because he doesn't appear on this list, right? Beat everyone at go-karting. So, okay. Scott would beat everyone at go-karting, but he would also end up in a car crash. I think it has to be Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting Because, like, Scott would just crash the car, right? We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. Yes. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. 
Good luck, Carrie. That was nice. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. If only we had Jimmy. Fuck Jimmy! I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Just put Jimmy's corpse in the driver's seat. Fuck it. Alright, well, everybody, we're gonna put some tunes in in the meantime. Oh, the kids are back already. Fuck, okay. Find one again. Fast kids. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we did it. Hit it. Alrighty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Spotter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Spotter says go. Yeah? Yeah. Lockpicker, go. I'll get the keys off you. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Just focus. Focus. His face is. The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. Oh, God. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's his face, not yours. You got this. Fuck Jimmy. Right. The Why is his whistling on beat? Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Yeah. And hot David should be back any second. Oh, Fuck yeah, David. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step. Trap the killer. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Oh. There he is. He's buying it. Bro, Jimmy said in the prank call that he would cut his face. Karma got him. Fuck yeah! What? Wait. He just stared at me. Carrie! Wait! Carrie? Just stared at me. And walked into the woods. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought she was dead. Holy so shit. You're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Get shit on, idiot! 
It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Ooh. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. Your friends need to buy you a beer after Breathe, this. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Yeah! This game is so fucking oh, cool! That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. No, you fuck any Jimmy! Kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. That was the greatest Here's plan. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Aww. All teens except Jimmy survived the whistling hey, man. Alright. What do you got? Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.6. Best outcome, let's go. Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Yeah. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. You should be in, I had a in guy the from home. Starling Security here earlier, installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider you a friend, my man. Oh, thank you, Roller Ricky. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. It's a small town, yeah, Forest. Man. Come on, take Sounds it. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Yeah. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Believe it. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. Aww. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. Oh. A lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Aww. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. Yay! How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. Get down. I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh. <gasps> Doggy! Aw, oh, hello, Max. Oh. Yeah! Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog. But I always say he's the one that rescued me. Oh. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. Holy shit, first a skating said, dog? Done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie <laughs> loves the ring, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? <laughs> Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Aw. You're a great pair. It sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons Fuck tomorrow you. at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Yeah. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? What is a man? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Aw. Oh, you got it, man. She's Peace. a dog person. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Mmm. Something funky. Let's do the hang ups. You're gonna love this next track. 
I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't the you? The booper! Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. Oh. What are the odds? Better take it. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Hey, Carrie! Carrie! Hell yeah! I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy. Ah, fuck him. I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? Hmm. After what he did, why let me go? Hmm. Good question, actually. He saw you as a victim? I mean, he wouldn't really care about that with the nerd. Maybe he got bored? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Yes. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Sure. Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. <laughs> you know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. Where's the when it murder comes house? to masked whistling killers? I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. That is true. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. All Just right. Hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Thank you, Peggy. Time to go explore the downstairs more. Maybe we can find some optional like items or something. Time to look for some music. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Huh. You know, I did joke about lore earlier, but the story and, like, setting of this game is pretty intriguing. Like, actually intriguing. I love that the town actually has personality to it. Like, there's a bunch of characters that I remember, and I've only been playing this for, like, three hours. I need a key to get in there. Yeah, private. Like, there's definitely a mystery going on with the serial killer. I just can't really put the pieces I'm together. I'm not getting in there tonight. Like, is he a zombie coming back from the dead? Is he someone from the town? Is he someone that we've actually talked to? I don't know, man, but I'm actually really getting into it. I'll figure it out. Like, this game it, this game is, like, not that long. Like, we should be over, like, relatively, like, in a few hours, maybe. Like, we're getting to the tail end of the game, from what I know. No record. Oh! Nice. Yeah! I'm coming to get ya! Alright, we got a bonus record. That's very nice. That was worth it. Man, why do you take take out the trash, man? That's really ugly. The atmosphere and the visuals are so cool. I've seen what happens in this game, so I don't want to spoil it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. 
Because I'm actually having a lot of fun right now. Anything here? No. Alright, well, let's continue. Wait, can I go outside, like, in the back, like, in the exit sign? Did I try that before? Yes, I did. It's a padlock. Need a key. Needs a key, but the padlock is open. Ah, oh, whatever, Forrest. Just go do your job. Maybe he's Ponty from Ponty's Pizza? No, Ponty has been preparing, like, breadsticks for everybody at the frat house. Like, there's no way that he is also the serial killer. Maybe there's multiple serial killers, who knows? We already have that. We already had that with Parasocial, so... Maybe? Alright, let's continue. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment, or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. Here we go. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Hey! The call with the teens was awful. How are you doing, Dawn? Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Yeah, uh, Your name was Dawn, right? Mm. What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? But we don't, we don't have, have the song. song. Yeah. As you just said, Peggy threw it out the window. But, Forrest, you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. Oh. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take a second to grab it. That is very suspicious, and he's fast. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but Thank there's... You. Hey there. I came in too late. And it sounds like some people were killed. Nope. Who ended up dying. I mean. Other than Jimmy. Screw Jimmy. Nobody but Jimmy has died tonight. Also the sheriff. But that was like. I, that, was like that was like really out of my hands. None of the people that could actually die by my hands have died. Which I'm very proud of. Thank you Chad for the help. Something unnatural about this freak. He's, he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. Uh -huh. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Uh -huh. Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest. And you'll find out. <sighs> okay, so she's the serial killer. I got it. Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. <gasps> Yeah, she's the- Dawn is a serial killer. Alright, well, we're gonna play the new track that I just found on the employee's lounge, and I'm gonna go get that record. This is I'm Coming to Get Ya by Bob. <laughs> okay, that's year. very appropriate. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? We don't. If she's telling the truth... Why don't you go? No, no. All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. Dom, I'll good man. I'll find you the key to the fire door. <laughs> wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it... <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the board down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. I love this game. The screw with me, Peggy. You go, Peggy. We're gonna die. Let's go. This game is awesome, dude! Why aren't more people playing this? Alright, everybody, we're alone with the serial killer now. Unless it's not Dawn, but I'm pretty goddamn sure that it's Dawn. 
Let's go. Oh, this is the place that the, the initial guy got murdered in. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Yeah, you joke, bud. Out here? In the open? Alone? Alone. Oh, great. Yup. 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 Oh, shit. Fantastic. Okay, we'll go check out the intro place and see if, like, there's a dead body in there. There's probably a dead body in there, right? Oh, boy. Nope. Can I at least find a record somewhere? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, there's fuses. Oh, no, buddy. I can't carry both of them. All right. Well, you stay over here. Sure. <clears throat> Which window would she have thrown it out of? All right, boys. We're alone with the serial killer. And everything is bolted down. How did Forrest not notice that? Fucking hell! Calm down. Another fuse. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so there's yellow, red, and green. Oh, hey, a record! Here it is. Long ride home. Get the fuck out of here, Forrest. Oh. Wait a second. There's a puzzle. A20. These are busted. Okay, maybe. Maybe this is just optional. Maybe I can get a better ending. Hold on a second. Hmm. Why does it have to be a fuse puzzle? It's a horror game. You're bound to get fuse puzzles. So that is 50. <gasps> Five. So that's five, five. Keep an eye out for any other fuses that may be around here somewhere. This is such a cool puzzle game, Jesus Christ. All right, I have a five. So that is five, five, five. Anything else? Oh, there we go. Fifteen! Oh, and there's also a red one. Thirty. Alright, let's get this over here, and that'll probably be our ticket in there. I have no idea why I need to open this door, but... I'm feeling there's someone in, something in there. So that is fifty... Sixty-five... And then... 70. Bingo! Fuck yeah! I don't know why you did that. What was that? I don't really know what I did. Huh. Well, whatever, I did it, right? So... Of course. It locks behind me. Shit. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. It's a, just Fantastic. a flat wall. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, elevator, or something. Oh, well, I did it. 
probably survive that fall. You turn a corner in the alleyway. Huh. Suddenly you see Michael Myers and the ghost face killer going straight to tier 15 on the musty couch. <laughs> Knife. Kiss mark. I think Michael I think Michael would absolutely Looks wreck like ghost face. Janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 fuck. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Peggy, we got a problem. Oh, uh, shit. Gallows Creek High School class, Keith Walker, Mary Campbell, Stanley King, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Ant Williams, Billy Price, Chuck Brody. Hold on a second. Gallows Creek versus Quiet Ridge High Division 2. We would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Criminal operation shut down, 24 arrests inside informant walks free. The arrests were made after a member gave up information on their conspirators to investigators. Justice for festival victims. The two-year investigation into the festival accident has concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station. Lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel, which led to various construction mistakes. They have been ordered to do community service for total. Beep, beep. Look at ahead. Five dead, 16 injured after brakes fell on bus. Oh, the deceased were identified as Mr. D. Rudd, Mr. Hewton, P. Stein, Mrs. K. Stein, and Mrs. Mildred. Do you care about health and safety? Good. Then come on down to our yearly convention. They say you learn from your mistakes. Well, I turned mine into a career. Suspicious... Sheriff Matthews warned citizens to look out for suspicious behavior after multiple car thefts. Twenty-four gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. Local legend takes to Manhattan. She stole our cars and the money. She stole our time and money. Big wheel breaks free, 15 injured. Who is to blame? Flu for thought. Local doctor K. Walker recommends all local locals get their flu shot ASAP. Gallows Creek Power Line Station 20 staff in record higher 12, which were students from Gallows Creek High. What the fuck? Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Former Gallows High football captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we're buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and gets back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drop the tickets in the bucket below. Thanks. Gas station bought by local lottery winner. He has asked, he has asked to remain anonymous. 
criminal operation shut down. Marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Huh. Okay. Ooh, there's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Oh, we're gonna get fucked up. The janitor obviously has the keys to everything in this goddamn building, doesn't he? Oh boy, Peggy. Fucking hell, dude. Forrest, be more careful. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Forrest! The fuck is wrong with you? You just... I mean, I guess it's not guaranteed that he's the serial killer. Maybe your janitor is just a little bit fucked up in the head. Who knows? Lock. For now. God, still have to go through there, huh? Alright. Let's just go. Oh, baby. Yo, Peggy, I found some fucked up shit. Are you alive? Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Dude. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? <laughs> Start from the beginning. The, the fire door locked up. Ah, okay, time to explain. 2.40 a.m. Nice. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yes. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? Yes. That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Shit. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. Well, he obviously wants to. Oh, fuck. How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? Right. And four people. Right. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. This is Great. Need any more help? Please. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Oh my god, this is so cool! About potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. I'm gonna need some music for this. Yeah, can we play Dawn's music, by the way? Just, like, to help get us in the mood? Yo, Dawn, here's your shit! How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? Mm. Four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Fuck. I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. This is good investigation music.
and Williams. And Williams Car Club. Kim Walker Improv Club. Rebecca Allen Car Club. Chuck Brody Athletics Club. Well... Chuck Brody sustained an injury. Can I get some of these? Oh, nice. Oh, but I can't actually use it. Okay. Power Station, Trailer Park, Gas Station, Hospital. Is Chuck Brody currently in the hospital? Big Wheel broke free and its supports and rolled through town. Investigations currently underway. More on page 12. That is Chuck, right? Yeah, that is Chuck. We would like to celebrate the marriage between Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Kim Walker and is on the Improv Club. Peter Stein. So Kim Walker is also a local doctor. So Kim Walker might be at the hospital? Thirtieth. Have best wishes on the couple. Oh, this is a fun one. Good luck, Phil. You'll need it. Okay. I can't fucking actually do this with country songs. Like, Dawn, you have a really shitty taste in music. Oh, this is nice, actually. This is better. Okay, good. So let's let's think about this. Let lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted while talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel. Ant Williams. Search's power station. Twelve which were students from Gallows Creek. So... Oh my god, okay. Big Wheel, who is to blame? Aunt Williams? Lead Engineer Ant Williams. Festival of Disaster. Is Sean Everett on this list? No, he isn't. Oh! Save the game. All right. Local legend takes, takes to Manhattan. Infamous author of the book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out of Gallows Creek and a new life in the big city. Rent for sale cheap. Sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town ASAP. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. Okay... Dairy of a car thief. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews warns citizens about multiple car thefts. Wait a second! Dairy of a car thief. Hold on a second. No, this is just a fixing cars magazine. Never mind. Twenty four hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. 
It will keep me busy on an evening. He asked to remain anonymous. That could be Chuck Brody? Beep, beep. Look at tragedy. The C's have been identified as Gallows Creek locals, Mr. Mudd, Hewton, Stein. Wait, what? Peter Stein! Marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. So, Peter Stein died... ...alongside Mrs. Stein. Kim Stein. Okay, so... Kim is off the board. Because she died alongside Peter Stein. Okay, good. So, all the clues that have to do with Kim... You get out of here. And crime syndicate. Police finally put an end to the long-running car thieving crime syndicate. The informant who has to remain anonymous and he and will hereafter be referred to as R A. Thank you. Walked free. This game is like Clue the board game, but you are behind a radio oh! and it's a video game. Rebecca Allen. Okay, so she's the car thief. <laughs> Thank you, Arm uh, Armin Pax. Thank you for the five dollars. Okay, Rebecca Allen is the car thief. So, R anonymous car thief, local legend. That is Rebecca. Okay. Is your car safe? Right. So those are all the clues that have to do with Rebecca, but why would... Do you care about health and safety? Good, then come on down to the yearly convention featuring special mystery guest, lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster in 1972. Okay, so learn from your mistakes. So that was Ant Williams. Uh-huh. Hope you learn from your mistake, idiot. Chuck Brody survived a career-ending injury at the festival late last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we're buying him lottery tickets. Gas station bought by local lottery winner. It will keep me busy on the evening. Okay, so he's the owner of a gas station after he quit the game and yeah he became a gas station okay so chuck brody was an athletic man he got an injury and then bought lottery tickets so he is now a gas station owner mrs stein was a doctor Rebecca Allen was an ex-car thief. Trailer park. I will sell my trailer park. Okay, so Rebecca Allen is off the board then. Okay, and... I think it has to be Chuck Brody on the gas station. He is... He does have a limp, so he would be pretty hard to, like, escape the serial killer. And I don't know why Aunt Williams is here, like. Hmm. Oh. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff in record hire, 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Okay, so, but... This is definitely Aunt Williams. Okay, so we need... I think we should go for Chuck at the gas station. What about the dates? November 1986. So, okay, so... This was in 69. And then, yeah, he got the injury. And then, l just last year, just last year, he got the gas station. So he still owns that gas station. 
mind myself, 1969 has been a great year so far. Ant Williams. Oh, so this is at the start of the timeline. So Ant Williams just got hired after he came out of college. And he had the issue with the wheel in 72. And then in 87, he got... From Tuesday 1st to Sunday 6th of September. Wait a second. Tuesday 1st to 6th of September. Okay, so that's within our timeline in 1987. Come on down to the yearly convention at the Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Yeah, but that's not within our within our locations. And the yeah, there's no way that he could be the one that could be the next victim. And uh, Rebecca already sold sold her trailer park, so it has to be it has to be Chuck. Chuck at the gas station will keep me busy on an evening. Is that is that good? I think that's good. Yeah, also, Rebecca Allen, that's the same photo of her in the Car Thief Police, like, book. So it has to be either Ant Williams or Chuck. I think I'm gonna go with Chuck. Okay, good. Holy shit! <gasps> that was a great puzzle, actually! Hopefully I'm right about this. If I am not, then it, it was Ant Williams. How's it going? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Let's do this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? It should be. Oh, but maybe the killer is f trying to find Aunt Williams for the festival disaster of 72. But even then, there is no location. Like, we can't select the Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. So let let's go with Chuck. Let's let, let's go with Chuck. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? In the gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. Oh One my moment. god. Hello? Chuck Brody. Hey. Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. Oh. Eve, I finally let myself forget. I... Forget what? Forget? For forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Where's the gas station? Shit. I, I think he ran off. Okay, that's well, good. Fingers crossed that Chuck. <gasps> Jeez! Fucking. It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I. I. Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Did he survive? Hello? Yeah! Of course. The whole goddamn gas station's got up. Oh my god! I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. Holy Not shit, that was a cool puzzle. Blown to hell, though. Yeah. Oof. Damn it, that fireball. I chose super right, holy fuck. I to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forest man, I can't thank you enough, but yeah, I gotta go. No problem, man. Stay Wait, safe. I... Damn it, we lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. The what? Get us into some music while I deal with this. All right. All right, Dawn. Here's your stupid fucking song. Here's some music while we regroup here on. KFAM 189.16 Yeah! Stream. Okay, so where was that gas station?
No, that's the fire station. Train There's station? More in the basement to show us who Clyde is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. Ma you Probably you do a bitch. Me, right? Yep. Like I said, bitch. I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. All right, well, time to go into the fucking basement again. Because I'm the only one that does anything around here. Thank you. Ah, I can't be mad at her. I'm gonna get jumped, aren't I? How the fuck do you set up explosives in a gas station? Big brain. Big brain. So many that was such a so good puzzle. Pieces. Holy fuck. I love this. This was so goddamn cool. It took a while to figure out, but... Just by process of eliminating... I love that you can get, like, the identities and, like, the, the lives of all these characters just by, like, paying attention to the world environment. Alright, you creepy-ass janitor. What else you got? Hmm. The key? Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Key? Did I fuck up? Key? Key? What? Key? What? Screwdriver? Key? Oh, you have the key? Oh. Picked it up by accident, I guess. On the wall? Oh! <laughs> yeah, of course. Alright, let's go, let's go. Basement storage. <gasps> oh boy, we have to go into a new part of the basement. I'm gonna save. Give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Come on, bro. Sorry. Come on, bro. Find the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay, so that's another map of the town. Higher up so I can see better. That's nice. Ravine. So where was that gas station again? Can anybody help here? There's just a like square over here. Replace records. Come on in. Oh, that's nice. That's a good jazz studio. Left side, Christine's gas and repair. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the killer went from the radio station down into here and planted the bombs. Hmm. Holy shit, there's so much. Oh, well, at least he has good taste in music. Huh? There's a tape in there. Oh, another one. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Just let me go... Oh, at least the killer still has rat problems. What? But I can see a, a device, like, right there. Forrest, you should listen to that first tape you found. Uh, I guess I have to go all the way back to listen to the tape. All right, well. There, what? Oh. There's a tape player somewhere around here? Oh. Oh, I can barely see it through the... through the lighting. There we go. George Ballow. 1968. That 
that's when this all began for me. Mm -hmm. Follow the maps. Find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Oh, okay, Jigsaw. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I want to play a game, Forrest. What else is hidden down here? Be careful, Forrest. All right. Buzz the intercom when you found something. What is this weird thing? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death Oh. Second tape is on top of a tray. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage, severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Oh. This looks useful. Sheriff J. Matthews. Detailed report. At 4 a.m., a call was received from a jogger. A Miss Sandra Sharp. Reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene at, as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. 1968. Okay, that's another tape. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. That's it. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Uh -huh. I know that, it, like, I, I'm sure that you can't actually die in this sequence, but my god, the atmosphere. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Car door? Okay. The fuck is this thing? Okay. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall this from a has height to Shut up, Forrest. Of water, where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Oh. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Sullivan, we need to have a talk. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I have only seen the first and latest Saw movie. The first was crazy, and Saw X, the tenth one, made me wish John Kramer was my grunkle. That's fucked up. I still need to see Saw X, by the way. Thank you, Wildcar. Okay. Report investigation by County Medical Examiner. Name of the deceased, George Barrow. Approximately 9 p.m. The deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18. The cause of death is established to be drowning as shown in the signs of asphyxiation. 
Abrasions were found on the knuckles, likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known history of the disease being aggressive. No other injuries were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there is no f evidence of foul play. Additionally, the pre preliminary toxicology report indicates that the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. No? It is of the coroner's opinion that the disease went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. No! That is on fucking true, though. Also, that's Virginia. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Yeah, that this is a completely fabricated autopsy report. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Who was Virginia Arfogor? Uh, that is the nurse. Or like, the coroner, yeah, the, the coroner. Not, not the nurse, the coroner that we saved at the, at the midpoint of the game. So she fabricated a false autopsy report for someone trying to cover up this guy's murder. No! Oh, vinyl collection! I've got subscriptions to newspapers. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek, drawing closer to the anniversary. Humpty Dumpty. Are innocent, but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. Okay, so he wasn't the killer. Thank God I played this on Friday the 13th, by the way. This is pretty much a C this is pretty much a Jason Voorhees backstory. Alright, let's go. Zombie serial killer having revenge against the people that covered up his murder. That's great! What a good goddamn game to play on the on Friday the 13th. What? More? Okay. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Yeah! George, he was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman. That's Virginia. I just can't place it. Seriously? That's... Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Got another tape that talks more about how George died. Sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. A prank? There's also a tape about a toxicology report. 
There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. Oh my god, I just put it together! Everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. Oh shit! I found a written autopsy report. What did it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight too. But that contradicts the tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout. Yep, that was Virginia. Wasn't her name Virginia? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already ahead of you, girl. Don't worry. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. Yeah, how old is Virginia? I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Mm. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. Yes. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body? I guess someone else must have moved him. After he was After dead, he drowned. Where he was eventually found. Yep. But the report. What is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz runner? Yep. That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also... How did it wash up at the reservoir? Right. What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. <laughs> but, yeah, not important right now. Okay, Peggy. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report Yeah, they made a huge fucking cover-up. Sheriff tried to cover it up accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been yep. eviscerated, we could have asked Revenge! Him. But Sandra is still alive? Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. Alright. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe? But no. But then there's this next bit. Where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. It's starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone. I found Gone! Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. Maybe? We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. That's pretty fucked up. No, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident, and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill yeah, them. Yeah, to save them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? The intro! Oh man! If he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover? Oh! Clive oh, died in the God. intro to the game! Sorry for thinking you Shit! Do you think you found everything? <sighs> he was the I first. So. Forrest, what's going on? He was here? the very, Someone very first. Wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, Shit. Come back upstairs when you're ready. All right. We need to figure out our next step. I need to learn the date of when this happened. Fuck, I didn't get to see the autopsy, autopsy report again. 
3 a.m. When God did he die? I need to make a timeline of this. To pad our air time with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show This is fucking sick. This, this game rules. This is our job, Peggy. We gotta do it. <sighs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right. Yep. I'll get her on the line. This music ready, sucks. Shut the music off. Fuck you, Dawn. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers. Virginia hey, Phil. Sullivan. Let's see you're doing great. Thank you. Fremen Plunker here. You Who's fucking this? bitch, Plunker. Yeah, I'm a man. Hey. Sure. Plunker, it's Goose. Goose! Yeah. Goose, 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 goose. Goose, 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 goose. goose. Ass here. The party has moved. Oh, cool. Wait, what? Where's it moved to? This old lady's house. Oh, yeah, right. She, she's pretty cool, though. She said we could raid her a liquor cabinet if we stayed and protected her. Fuck yeah, bro. Of course, we're not drinking anymore. Sure. Sharp in case that turn yeah, you sound up. sharp, bro. The old lady might need our help. Aw, he's course, a good man. man. Of course. Hey, could you put me on with the old lady? No. Should check if it's cool for me to drop by. You go for us. There's that goose respect we love. Yeah, <laughs> these are bros. Uh, hello? Is this goose? Hey, uh, Dr. Sullivan. <laughs> Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd be jumpy too. I can't blame you. I'd be jumpy too. Especially I'm considering so that you covered up a murder. You, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. Wait, what? I don't know that name. Are you lying? What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier. Ah. The first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified for us. You fucking liar. Clive's the janitor at our station. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. Ooh. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. Nope. We thought so too, but... You don't understand. All those years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a, a boy on mm -hmm. my slab. Stop capping, Virginia. The autopsy. This man, Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course, I said no, but. Well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment. If I did what he said. 
and that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Jesus Christ! I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, Thank fine, you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. All right. Well, I think we've got to pretty figure it out then. Unless it's so unless there's not Virginia's a zombie involved. Tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Has to be someone in power on the entire town, right? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. Absolutely. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Fair enough. Yeah, we need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. Oh, this I'll might be, be difficult, actually. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. <laughs> jazz studio. Oh my god, we couldn't have solved anything uh -huh. if all these people died. Sandra. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello there. Hello again, Sandra. You want to see a dead body? Of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> Oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you ask. Yeah, so about that. Oh. Really? That sounds nice. Well, that sounds nice. Let's not make her I freak out, okay? Back tomorrow, then, too. Uh, you got my number. Stop flirting, you two. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Remember why we called, Forrest. Of course. Does Forrest have something you know going why on with her? The whistling her? man might have targeted you. Ha! Or as I can tell, he was just a knight wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well,. We think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. That's bullshit. You know that, Sandra. Don't play... <sighs> uh, how should I approach... I'm not good with tact. You guys know me. Like, I don't know... I don't know how to be, like, subtle about this kind of thing. I mean, you did find the body. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. Oh, there we go. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. Aww. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? No. Well, yeah, yeah. Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. Who was he? Sandra? Who was he? He was... He said, if I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river, he... Sorry. Bitch! I can't do this. Ah! And she's gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. Thank you, Peggy. You truly did great for us. Thank you. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. He. That's good timing. We've he, got a call he, 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 a he, 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 he. No, there we go. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host. Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. <gasps> I know 
this is really out of the blue with everything happening tonight. Yeah, hello there. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my Ponty. Uh Now, really? You want to do that now? Really? Why? Of course now. It's his birthday. I won't have a chance to do it again until next year. May as well, Forrest. Ah, uh, whatever, Ponty. Fine. What's if this name? is another one of your, you, if this is one of your fucking He's ads, I'm gonna Uncle fucking kill Ronnie. you. I'm gonna his dress up. Peter, I'm gonna put on a mask. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh, oh god, god damn it! Yes! Tell him he can get the best birthday deals of party packages for this pizza! Starting a job! You son of a bitch! Stop calling us! God damn it, Peggy! This is your fault! My fault? I said I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian <gasps> Ponty can't control himself. God damn it, Ponty! Don't worry. We've already got another Get fucked, one. Forrest! Just, okay, I didn't okay. pick up the I didn't pick up on that. God fuck. This is 189.16, the screen. I'm dressing up in a mask, Ponty. You're on the air, caller. Oh shit. <laughs> caller. Ponty. Oh my Ponty's God! Always oh. Come rain or sleet or whistling man. Ponty, you there. better have a serial killer right behind you. <laughs> Matt Victory cackling. Forest. <laughs> I, I need a win. Hold on. Forest, are you okay? Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Forest. I hope. The whistling man gets no. in with his own pizza slice. No, Jesus, no, Forrest, Forrest come on. Sorry. That was a bit Sorry. too much. That was, that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call whenever you're ready. I respect Ponty. Folks, don't spend your money at Ponty's Pizza. That's. You don't know the quality oh, of the pizza, man. That. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16. Forest villain backstory. With me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don. We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? I uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. I Why you? I on the radio helping you. Right. Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Okay. Hold on a second. Ask Can a neighbor, neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. This is fucking Check bullshit. The buzzer here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Train station? I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Oh, shit. And, oh. and now he's 
blasting David Scopo out of his window. No, 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 no. Yeah, sure. Can you get your neighbor's attention? That the whistling man will see me, Forrest. I can't do that. What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Please, I need to get in. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000 is keypad. And it looks like it wants a, a six-digit number. Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very oh. newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, dog. Not the doggy. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. This sounds like bullshit. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. No, this sounds like bullshit. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Dawn? No, no, no. That's complete fucking bullshit. Where did she say she was, like, in? I heard a fucking train. Thornside Road. Neck. Yeah, like, one of these door, One of these ones. Put a record on. All right, let's put the new one I that I got. Put a record on. There's one. That, let's let's try to see the one that I found in the murder basement. Coming up for your listening pleasure, it's Caged Tiger with their single, "One Last Goodbye." Yeah. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something? It wasn't just you. Yes. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who. But to help someone. Why is she, like... Like, she has to be between the houses and the train okay, station. So she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere... Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. All right, Clive. Couple man out, will ya? God. This fucking game rules. Can I still not open this? I need a key to get in there. Nope. Still can't open these. Yo, Clive, you got some shit around here? Starling 4000. You got anything on your creepy murder basements? Like, seriously, why- if you're a good guy, why you do this, man? You got some serious fucking issues. I guess I'll go into the, like, the regular basement part. Alright. Anything around here? I don't know what a security system is. Are you a security system? Yeah, kind of. They have to go deep in the back for this? Oh, there we go. Delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. The system's not even installed at Woodside. Okay. Delivery note, shipping date, 1987, 2nd of September, recently installed. St. Gabriel's Hospital, McReady Street, delivered, installed, number 
10.30. Christine's Gas and Repair, 10.31. Roller Ricky's Roller Rink, 10.32. Unable to install, require new parts, new installation date, 17th of September, at the Woodside Apartments. That is where the dog is. KFM radio station, op plan opted for manual installation. Wait, so... The security system isn't even... ...isn't even installed properly until... ...the 17th of September. Huh? So why would she need the code, then? Alright. Let's go save that dog. I'm pretty sure that Dawn is full of shit. Like, 100% full of shit. And if that's the case, then why is Dawn the serial killer? I need to go check. Yo, bitch! I got the delivery note! Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside Apartments with the Whistling Man nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, the Star no. Right. <laughs> Save with Dawn. Thank you, the same lad. Security system delivered here. Clive was going to install it, so check the basement. I guess that's where Clive would have stuff like that. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Don't take too long. I mean, honestly. I am not even going to give her the code, so why even bother? Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. I'll go back and look again. Don't oh, do I long. have to? All right, all right, all right, all right. Wish I had a sprint button for this. The walk to Clive's office is a pretty long way ahead. Maybe give her the wrong code? Yeah, but the game is not letting me pass until I give her something. She is pretty obviously suspicious. Or let's try to find some kind of code somewhere around here. You know what this game reminds me of? Chat? This game reminds me of, like, a more polished version of, like, Amanda the Adventurer. You know what I mean? But instead of, like, having tapes that you watch, you are actually, like, calling people and you're, like, talking to them and telling them what to do. It's, like, a much more polished version of Amanda the Adventurer. Like, think about it. it replace the VHS tapes with, like... Replace the VHS tapes with, like, the calls and exploring around the environment, finding clues to solve the puzzles and shit. Can't tell me it's not similar, right? But the calls allow you to have, like, a lot more variation in the kinds of things that you can do to, like, help the people that you need to save. Okay, so that's all the other shit that I already did. What is this little machine thing? It's more interactive. Yeah, exactly. I honestly think I found everything around here. It's kind of super empty. Yeah, nothing around here. Can't even open up those cabinets. Anything here inside of here? No? Oh! Nothing. Oh! Starling security, this side up. Oh, this is the machine. 
Starling 4000, user manual. There we go. Ah, these codes should come in handy. When entering codes and commands, sequential key depressions must be made within four to five seconds of one another. If four to five seconds elapse without a key depression, the entry will be aborted and must be repeated from its beginning. Be sure to observe this precaution when performing any of the procedures in this manual. If you make a mistake while entering the security code, stop and press the dot key, then start over. If you stop in the middle while entering a code and then immediately start the entry over, an erroneous code will be entered. The amount of panic shots experienced when we heard the bark. <laughs> Dawn has bad taste in music and she hates dogs. We side with the roller skating dog. We helping the dog out here, boys. Anyways, our state-of-the-art security system uses a six-digit code system. Simply enter the code into the keypad and feel total peace of mind. Starling Security 4000 system comes with a range of features. The default codes for these features are listed below. Please change these codes immediately to prevent unwanted entry. Maintenance call code 311212. Alarm test. Alarm test. Warning, this will set off all security measures. 191519. Alarm test deactivation code. 811220. An entry code. 715914. So we need... Okay, I am not trusting Dawn on this. I want to save the good boy. What if we give Dawn the bullshit alarm test code? Think that'll be a good idea? Ah, fuck, I dropped my shit. I think that would be a good idea. All right. Because, like, Dawn is super creepy. She, like, gave us a weird fucking hint with Clive. She, like... She's, like... I, I feel like she's bullshitting us, so... Let's see what happens. If she's actually innocent, then I will just... Reload. The same. But at the moment, I don't believe it. Let's make a save. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. Yup. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starling 4000. Know who was on there? Oh my god. Roller Ricky! Yup! I... Do you think we should give him a call? No. Is that crazy? No, 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 no. I don't know what you'd say, but... Okay, so we should... Should we alert Roller Ricky? Or should we give... Dawn the wrong security code? No need. Just put me through to Dawn. Yes! I'll take care of this one way or another. 19, 15, okay. 19. If you say so. When you're ready... Shut the music off. Let's go, Nine motherfucker! One, whenever you're ready. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189. Fuck it, we ball! The stream. Oh, thank God you're back. Uh huh. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, you piece of shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh. Is she? Ooh. Roller Ricky! Never come back here again. Yeah! I'm calling the cops! That's us, Thank buddy! God. Hello? Fuck you, fuck there? you, fuck you. Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. Fuck yeah! Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him! Yeah! That was a whistling man! Fuck you! Yeah. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folks, but... I can't let anything happen to Fuck you, yeah, the dog Who's lives! Friend, you know? The uh, dog lives! Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. You're gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. Yeah! Whenever you want, forever. 
That's a done deal. I... Dog lives! Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Oh. Okay. Gallows Creek. Fuck you! Yeah. Yeah. process what just happened. Don, fuck yourself! Going with the flow. So, the whistling man is a woman? I had my suspicions. I had my suspicions. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned Ah, shut up. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? <laughs> Why do you think she requested that song? Maybe she wanted to kill while she was hearing the song? I mean, maybe she actually wanted it. Could be her favorite killing song. Ugh, that's awful. I don't know. So, what now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Hell yeah. Okay, you're live in three. Save just in case. Two. Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. Boom. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. Yeah. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's, it's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on God, the God, this game is so fucking good! Hey, we had a call come in. All okay, right. folks, time to take a call. You're through to Forrest Nash on I think this might be the end. The Scream. Hey, man. Hey, Murphy. Hey, I'm straight. Fuck What's yeah. On, Murphy? You in danger again? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. We saved the doggo. you asked folks to call in if they could help out, well, I'm calling. Yeah! I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando if I didn't try to help. Oh, Murphy. You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Fuck yeah, man. Thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you tell us? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. What about the killer herself? Herself? <laughs> Man, I, <laughs> I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. The man I went toe to toe with was a man, man. Hmm? You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... Man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just move on. Do you know <laughs> Murphy, you're adorable. about the history of the Whistling Man? No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you want from me? But there's yearly pranks, though. Oh, no worries, hey, man. man. No worries, just... Thank you for trying. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. Now, you to ask me about gators. Oh. Forrest, we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy. I think that's all we've got time for right now. Uh, uh, all right. You're adorable, Murphy. I am so glad I get to hear later. about these guys. Not like, well, folks, that was a bust. Oh. Perhaps our next caller has more they can tell us. I'm so Let's glad that I actually get to hear about these guys like after I save their lives. That's like great. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. Oh. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's he's bleeding everywhere. I don't Shit. Know what to do. Please help me. Nancy Drive. Is he still breathing? Yeah, but I mean, he's bleeding out fast. I really need help, please. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place, but we heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I never 
There we go, Nancy Drive. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. What? It sounded like he might have known the person. And they just stabbed him. Casey, was his attacker the whistling man? The who? The who? They had a mask and wore all black. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's him. Know. That's him. That's him. That's him. Please, that's him. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Right. Wait. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Huh? Yeah, that's a problem. The ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. What's your friend's name, Casey? Jason. Jason Parker. Jason can Parker? Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and his... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Where is the hospital here? Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. Come on, Forrest. We have a stab <laughs> victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is, well, you know. Yeah, blown know, up. But please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen... You're going to have to get him here. What? We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. Where's the hospital? All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stop Pharmacy? Him first, and then oh, there we go. St. Gabriel's. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid. So Nancy drive to no. St. Gabriel's. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Shit. You think you can handle that? <laughs> Don't have much of a choice. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. Mm. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Mm. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it out. Smart. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. Mm, mm, mm. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. No, 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 it's this. fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So we can do this. We can go. handle it. Oh, shit. Keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Mm. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Thank uh, you. Don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Musical notes. If there's something calm. strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Oh, sorry. Musical That's notes. 911. Right no. Now, now that would be for customers. Psych. Beat you thought. As you can. Good. Good luck. All right. Thank Forrest. you, Wildcard, Casey's for the $5. Still on line one. Okay, we're basically like a we're basically like a nurse right now. Okay, uh, I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Yeah, I can I see need that. Help! I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. Didn't you hear the fucking radio bleeding. call? I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? 
Purple Max donates three dollars and says, Phil, I'm currently playing RE1 and I want to ask, how do you deal with the damn dogs? Get a shotgun. It's on the... The shotgun is... on the east side of the mansion. You need to go through a... trap to get it. You need to make sure that you either have a replacement shotgun for the shotgun uh, mantle, or just, if you play as Jill, just take out the shotgun and go through the trap and Barry will save you at the end. It's gotta be hell! Should I pull it out? No, 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 Don't touch the knife! No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. <laughs> no, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. We need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer. Some cloths on the hood of the car. What else? Oh. Hey Dakota, how are you doing? Uh, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the two dollars. Uh use the cleaning rags. Take the cleaning rags and hold them over the wound. I really hope these are clean. Here we go. <laughs> Forrest, can I have a word? Uh, okay. Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on, and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. Oh. What if other people need us? You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. That's true. That's true. That's true. Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Uh -huh. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? <laughs> Never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yep. Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Right. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably. But I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Shit, so we need to I'll get there. Their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Naturally. Naturally. It's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Medic! Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. I'm gonna break into his office. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? The fuck? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things <laughs> that have information on them. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I don't know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, right. Reggie we're in 1987, the right? Was floppy, and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. Oh yeah, right. We're in 1987. I the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. Good. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door. Now. As always. Thanks, Peggy. I just have to look around. Futuristic floppy disks. Let me move. Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office, 
So you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay. Give me that. Unlock all doors at the station. Futuristic floppy disks. Do you know that the maximum like storage capacity of a floppy disk is less than a megabyte? Jesus fucking Christ. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Oh boy. I want to believe. Hey Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. I recommend hmm. you start reading. I'll have a look around. You're probably right. I'll let you know when I find something. Hint, very yeah. important dates. That is not really a hint, is it? Axe Forever. Need to write pitch document. Good title. Bring back the original protag and villain. Okay... Best boss. Oh. Ask Genie over the over where those tapes are. It's been weeks now. Overdue. Okay. Third floppy disk. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. Of course. Alien sightings. Oh, there's a date. 1985. We could try this out. 1985. Nope. That's not how it works. Scorpion. From below it came. Hitting rock bottom. 87. Well, obviously that's not in. Holiday, 1982. Okay, maybe 1982? <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. Cool that you're playing this. My brother says this is one of his favorite games of this year. It's pretty damn also, cool. the new avatar looks super nice. Thank you, CG. Thank you for the $5. Where the hell could that floppy disk be? There you go. Put it in there. God, I remember these computers. Could this be it? Deep Cuts Top Secret Pizza Delivery Killer Who Kills with a Pizza Cutter. Hey! Terrifyingly, terrifyingly, there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him in, an, in as a final girl's boyfriend? Protagonist is college student Megan. Surname to follow. She's... Mm, smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant. Amplifies the divide between her and the pizza killer. Takes place on 1107. Very important date for the town. Great goose gathering event where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. <laughs> Need to kill off Megan's support network throughout the movie, like Axe 3, but even scarier. Maybe even partner with Ponty's? Maybe even partner with Ponty's Pizza for the launch! One out of ten orders just receive a pizza cutter and tickets to the movie. God damn it! 11.07. Nice. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Personnel file. Peggy. Oh, Forrest. Like, let, let's check our file out. Hold on, I need to, like, eject this one. Get the fuck out of here. Let's check what Get he got. of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. I'm checking my I'm shit out, Peggy. Dying on the line. Nah, shush, shush, shush. I'm shush, 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 shush. Right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I can read the rest of this later. <laughs> Show host. 
the Forest Nash here in Hallows Creek. His motivation may be low. His demands are a bit beyond our means, but he's currently blacklisted from any reputable station. But honestly, we don't have a reputation to lose. Forrest isn't really integrating with the team. He seems to have this lone wolf thing going on. Heard him call Jean, Janie, Janine, and Brenda on his first week. Hopefully he's cha this changes when he's settled. I've paired Forrest with Peggy for the show. They seem to have developed a relationship of sorts pretty quickly, which is good because we sure don't have the show's budget to pair him up with Karen. All right. Yeet. Let's check out Peggy's file. Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Oh? Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? Shh, 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 shh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shh, shh, shh. We already know I'm shh, 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 shh. Don't waste time. I've never... Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never... You need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. It's fine. I've never seen somebody gel with everybody as quickly as Peggy has. Her, Karen, and Barbara have really come, become a little family already. Maybe we need to run the station on girl power. Hopefully it's cheaper than electric. Sometimes I wonder if Peggy secretly wants her own show. She hasn't been shy about getting involved in the calls on the screen. Sometimes it feels as though Forrest could just leave for a coffee mid-call and nobody would know. Peggy and Karen have missed another work event. All right, because of the, their training sessions, their collection of cocktail parasols grows after each session. Why are they doing their training sessions at a bar? All right, uh, so Peggy, Karen, and Barbara. Got it. Yeet. Hey there. Welcome to the Talk Success Bit for two bon bon months. Will you play Bon Bon 4? It crosses over with a, another horror game series if you haven't seen it yet. Nah. But thank you for the two months, though. Uh, where's Barbara? Barbara, Barbara. There we go. Albright Barbara. What the fuck was that? Okay. Barbara Alb Albright, uh, address 14 Craven Street, phone number 542-1890. Barbara is really getting, getting on well with all the staff here. Everybody gave her great feedback at our last review. I get the feeling that there's something going on with her and Brad. Call it a hunch. Barbara got another ca cat recently. She must have at least five by now. Daisy, Murphy, Penelope, Freddy, Lord Winston. I'll need to monitor productivity going forward. The cat photos are a big distraction for the rest of the team. Oh, she's the receptionist. That's why all the cat photos were like underneath the desk. Barbara laughed when I told her about the concept for my new horror script. I don't care what she thinks. A story about an alien egg at the center of the earth set to hatch on February 30th is a great idea. Why else would we be avoiding February 30th? By the way, what other games you looking at playing? Oh, I'm gonna play Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm gonna play Darkwood. I'm gonna play Visage. I'm gonna be playing uh, Alan Wake 2. And... Public Play then Chapter 3. Alright, I think we got Barbara, right? Hey, Peggy. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Um, maybe. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? Okay, maybe, like, check these real quick. When I hired Brad at our uh, station's food critic, people said I was crazy. Bar Bradley and Barbara seem to be spending an awful lot of time together. I've always wanted to learn more about food. Brad and Barbara ended up missing most of our first aid training session. Brad made a joke about practicing mouth-to-mouth -mouth and Barbara got really upset and stormed off. The joke wasn't that bad. Oh shit, Barbara's a mistake. Shit. Hold on. 
they missed most of the training session. Hold on. Wait, no. I need, I need, I need more information. Uh, job title, Karen, uh, Karen Lawson, senior producer. Karen has really stepped up her duties in the recent months. She has all fully taken on Hamish's show alongside Timberline twins ever since Wes left us. Karen has started mentioning Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They always, they're always doing team building training getaways. I'm starting to suspect that these producer training getaways are being strategically timed. Yeah, no, fuck that. And who's this last guy? Philip the first. Hello Have there, well card. An existential breakdown. Gazed into your bathroom mirror. Applied layers of red lipstick like a maniac and chanted, "I feel pretty." I'm only curious. Absolutely not. The only mirrors in my house are broken. Th uh, this is John Hedges. John refused to engage with the first aid training course. I know he was a war medic, but it was station policy to send everybody regardless. John apparently had a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military at the end of his service. Is that legal? Spoke to John again about eating the free samples that Brad gets sent for his reviews. He said he'd stop, but he said that the last three times too. Is it on America to reprimand a war vet? Okay, so maybe John, because John is a fucking war medic. Yeah, no. Okay. Um. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the police seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, Shit. I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. Okay, I, good. I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? <gasps> um, elevate, elevate the legs. Casey, I need you to elevate. Jason's I almost forgot. Legs. Shit. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Got it, Jason. Stay with me. I'm just gonna move you. This might hurt. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. Good. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah! I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. Just give me a second. You can do it, Jason. Sorry! Sorry! Jason's sleeps through his bandages. Should I get a new one? Or... Oh, God! What? Uh, apply additional bandage. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep it warm. <gasps> Chupacabras! So... I'll use my jacket. The boss oh, loves Mexican I food. I'll fix his bandage and get him warm. Hold on, please. <sighs> good, good, good. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. Ooh. You're gonna be Hold on, I'm just reading a magazine here. Shit, okay, fine. He's going to be fine. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay, okay? Who are you gonna call? Call John. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former. Yeah. Man. He's probably the most trained person we have. I didn't even know he lived in that street. Who caught the stream? Hey, Moonstone. New model. Thank you for the four months. Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash. I'm building a fort. We have an emergency, and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. No. Person like injured. Else.
John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt, and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. It's a whistling woman. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I've been called on for over 10 years. I know, but do no harm. What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Yeah! Thank, Thank you, you, John! We'll let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Hey, Chromia. Thank you for Hello, the super Casey. chat. Are you there? How are we doing? Shit. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. He might have Jason, a like a medical kid way. with, with him. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. It's gonna be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Whoa, Casey. Yeah. Oh. I have my head stuck in the fan. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Fuck yeah! Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Hmm. This is to certify that Reginald Scott has successfully completed the standard course in first aid to the injured. Neat. Alright boys, I think we have a perfect run on our hands. Now the only thing we need to do is, I guess, catch the killer? I'm pretty sure that they can't try to kill even more people by this point, right? Hey Phil! Happy Friday the 13th! Hope you're doing well! Oh, we beating Friday the 13th today! We're basically going through and like helping, like helping everybody stop a Friday the 13th movie. Extremely appropriate for like today. Like dead air is a crime for us. Good fucking timing. All right, well, let's put on the tiger music. Here comes one of my favorites. Hey Phil, it's getting pretty Friday late. the thirteenth. This might Hope be your you're last doing break well. Thank you, Kasuichi. So try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. I am pretty good, honestly. Like I found all the discs. I did everything well on the puzzles. Like I think we're good. We good, Chad? I think we good. Big boy time. Safe, Phil. All right. Actually, we'll save again just in case because Chad loves to save. Let's roll. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through too. All right. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This should be the finale, I think. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Forrest, it's me. Hey, Roller Ricky. Oh, and Max is here too. Doggo. Good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Fuck oh, yeah. we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. Yeah! That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little white wing halo number. Maybe something for the K-Fam Halloween party. Oh. All right, everyone. Let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Hmm? Oh? What's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallows High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. 
All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned... Oh! He was on our team, too. Tell me about him. What was George like? I didn't know him for long, man. Sad to say. We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl. <gasps> there was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? Shit! Ricky, listen, this is very important. I need to know everything about her. I didn't really know her before or see her after that. I never even got her name, man. I just remember he called her Bean. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party She's didn't a Hello last Kitty long. Girl. What happened? We were just having a good time. And then it's a revenge the story. thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was yep. just another kid. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how George died. It was a prank that went badly. I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. Aww. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. It was all You're just a stupid a fucking prank that led that now, to a guy to drown. It took a long time to learn, but yeah. Just That's why that. Jimmy Thank died you, so this brutally. Helps. Thank you. You got it. Because man. he was another one of anyway, those pranks, prank callers. Yeah, everything just clicked in. Night, Ricky. Dawn is trying to get revenge for her uh, boyfriend's right, murder. Folks. Not murder, prank gone wrong. And then they covered up the prank. Any info about this mysterious bean? Man. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Yeah, that sounds like a Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? <gasps> Maybe this song was with the love Peggy? song that they both had. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. Okay. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Oh, uh. You'll like this next song. Uh, I hope this is And that's why she didn't kill Carrie. Who have we got? She did I see her as a victim. A victim of the prank that Jimmy made. It makes complete sense. Fuck yeah, man. The hazing prank that like took like a kid's life. I suppose I should take this call. Hello? Forest. I'm glad I got back through. Hey, Leslie! Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Long time no see. Guys, it's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. Yeah. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> what? Anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been a long night. Ever since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. It's been a long night. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. I made it to Henderson. Hmm. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines, and they had no idea what was happening. Right. After I told them, well... 
their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. Hell yeah! That's great news! Thank you, wild card. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? No shit. I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she... Oh, she's been listening all night. Did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. <laughs> Don't mis don't misgender the whistling man. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. Mm-hmm. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Right. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, Try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening huh. in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Don't misgender the killer. You're going to get canceled. I don't know about this. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a life. Yeah! Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind the Final bar. boss time. Final boss time. Let's get hyped Take up. Care. Fuck yeah. Fuck we'll yeah. Fuck yeah. Soon, fuck yeah. Leslie. All right. Oh God. It sounds like this is almost over. Nearly We're through nearly this. Nearly through this. Ooh. All right. Best we don't waste any time then. Let's get back on air. You got it. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to the stream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say... Things are looking up. Yeah. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Let's save the game. Final boss time, boys. Let's go. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Yeah! Hello there, Hello, Doctor. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Doctor! John! Is, is he gonna be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Yeah! Got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much! If you yeah. hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would've happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this for us? Yeah! The one and only. I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. Jason lives. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. Aww. So I might feel even better than either of you. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> fucked up right down here. <coughs> oh. <sighs> take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I love I this. Will. That I, I needed to call you. Okay. I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there. Mm hmm. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he. Is he alright? Yeah, he's alright. He now. I mean,. He was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm... Purple Max donates $3 and says, Sorry to interrupt you, but what happens if you get stuck in the shotgun room, Phil? Uh, Purple Max, if you're playing as Jill, which is the girl with the blue outfit, just wait and, like, spam the exit, like, the exit to the room that you came from. Like, the the one to the hallway. Then, after enough, after enough time, Barry should come save you. I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. Uh, you don't. You're Chris. Oh, then you should have taken the false shotgun from the room that is next to the east save room, next to where the medical bottles are. If you 
don't have that, if you don't have the false shotgun, then you're fucked. You're just fucked. You're gonna die. So, I told you, you should have grabbed the false shotgun from the east side of the mansion, so that you can prop it up into the shotgun room. You need to put a false shotgun in place of the real shotgun. Otherwise, you're gonna get killed. I need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back. Gaming advice with Phil. Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. Yeah. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. Hmm. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. Like he'd never existed. What happened? What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank. Neo and what? Whistling night. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could. Man, Jimmy super deserved it though. Decided to plan a party in the woods. Nailed it. And have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. Each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. The party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Pretended to get stabbed in front of him. This everyone. feels like. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. Yeah, this feels like a scream that movie. Was the last time I saw or heard George alive. Aww. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Hmm. Her name was... What? Oh. What happened? Are we still what? on air? Mm? How do we get it back on? Oh shit, even the neon lighting went down. Reggie picked it up a while ago in case you ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? What the fuck? M M M M Bear point! It's in the storage area, in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. Shit. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. I'll see you when you're back. Oh, now this station looks a lot more eerie. M, 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 M. Who could it be? M, M, M. Oh shit, boys. The killer's coming for us tonight. <laughs> Maggie Simpson. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? I know, right? Red button. Yep, there we that go. Must be it. The big fucking neon thing. Boom! We've got power. Nice. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy.
Go, 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 go. I don't know what I'm holding. What the hell? What was that? 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 I don't want to walk, man. Peggy? 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 Oh. Oh, no. Shit. Peggy, where did you go? <laughs> Bitch! No way. This can't be happening. Whoa, you're strong! Holy shit, you're cool. I, I call. You're fucking strong, ma'am. Uh... I don't know how to control this. Oh. What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. Holy shit! You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. <laughs> My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Ha! Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But... It's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. All right. All right. Let's. I'm happy to hear that. Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. Okay, she's getting into it. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth. What? You crazy bitch. Wait. Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy. Oh, she's not him. Years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait. Where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well. He knows he'll get it. Then who? Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all <gasps> the to my boy, Henry Barrow. Yeah, your son? That's why it Ooh. took so long for this to happen. Did he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. <laughs> Of course, that explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly, and that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper. Right. I've forgotten about that forest, locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Jesus Christ! He, he was right, wasn't he? He did fight a man. He did. I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. You're fucked up, uh, woman. Did you say, Barrel? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Right. Well, it sure. I mean, fuck you, Teddy. Since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Quiet, Teddy. Quiet if I were you, Teddy. But I... <laughs> Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Watch your tone, motherfucker! First, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. I mean, oh, why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. 
I know. They all knew George was murdered. They kind of regretted murdered. it, though. Uh, listen, I... <laughs> Teddy, you <laughs> stupid motherfucker. I said you speak when you're spoken to. Oh, all right. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. I mean... I can do that. Interview you. Uh, all right. Interview of a lifetime. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. God, this game is so fucking cool! I need to drag this out. Mm -hmm, if I can mm -hmm, buy Leslie mm -hmm, time mm -hmm. to get back to Gallows Creek. And if I can find out where Marie is... And this can end. Yep. Teddy, we'll start with you. Save again. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. <laughs> Hit him, Mary. Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest? I'm trapped here with a psycho. Of course. <laughs> of course, what the boss now? fight of this game would be interviewing God. a politician. Okay. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Of course, helping a politician survive a kidnapping situation would be the hardest fucking thing about this game. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. Oh, you I dumb was motherfucker. Just surprised. No one had ever thought to do it before. Oh, you dumb motherfucker. Right. You mean this was the first Oh, you dumb there. motherfucker. I, uh, keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason, George, of course. Uh, but why the fuck George would you do that? Fucking miners, man. He brought Marie and Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky, hmm. our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know, because I'm a decent. Shut man. the fuck up, Teddy. Is that so? <laughs> yes, it is. He came apart. One day, some people do. He had some issues. He wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. Sure. So I helped him keep himself together. I don't know. I think the dog did a better job than you. you. Were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night. Slap him, Mary. Put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw. Jason there. Bloody. Like, he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. <laughs> Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Uh... Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. Exactly. Ricky? Well... Also, you killed a fucking teenager, by the way. Just saying. About it afterwards. He's still guilty. Ugh. It was just a stupid prank. Go to hell. Just a prank. Hit him, Mary. Hit him again, Marie. <laughs> God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jesus. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help 
Just in time. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Bitch. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. Oh, I can stop for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And... Who was under the mask, Murray? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. <gasps> Chuck Brody. Laughing. That's right. why you exploded his gas Stop. station. What was he looking at? Shit! <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy? Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. How do you know what happened? I saw it. No, 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 no. You were dressed as the whistling man, too. Oh. I didn't push him. God damn it. Man, this is just scream. I chased him up there, and he kept backing up. Like two killers, too. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Then why the cover up? If she's lying, why the cover up? My future was at stake. Nash. Fucking politicians. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. Ooh. And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clyde oh. out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? This game is awesome! Yeah, you're gonna die. No. He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. Why would the she fuck would you say that to the serial killer? To protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she. Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's oh, Creek. Teddy. Not Sharp Creek. Hit him again. <laughs> Hit him again, Marie. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Okay. We own most of the uh, town. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing oh. to do with the false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. Huh. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. For all it's worth... Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... even still, 
She should have told the truth. Oh. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no. That coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. When will it end? When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. Never. What the fuck do Oh my god, that's cool though. Gallows Creek High in the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters, but yes. I hate look, I love this animation. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So oh! Fucking Peg is alive! Thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. What? What did they put it? Sister. What? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? What? I want to explain, Peggy. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. Oh! And when you walked in, Fuck! you found out that my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. If I told you, you'd try to stop me or Shit. with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. What you looking at, boy? Don't, 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 uh, I, wait, is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze, uh, Eugene Stein? Why him? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night, too. Oh, even the children? Wait, even the children? The child was left. Murray, Come please. on, what the fuck? Got me. Just like the rest. Jesus, God. even the children. Anyway, I can prove that he didn't forget Marie. What? Oh fuck. Ha Uh Uh Coffee? Shit. Ah! 
Happy birthday! Well, no one's gonna forget now. No! No! Ah! Peggy! No! Ah! But... Reload? <laughs> Too slow. Uh Happy birthday, sis. You're doing great. Love. I wait. How do I show this to Is them? That's why you went after that kid in the maze maze, Eugene Stein. Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents. It's okay, that timeline didn't exist. Break down! Break down! Their child was left. Murray, please. I, 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 happy birthday! Besides, you forgot me. P happy birthday! Just like the rest. Happy birthday! You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you! Yeah! Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here, on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. Aww. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. Bitch! I. Henderson Police! Freeze! No. Yeah! Henry! Get out of there! Oh! Ah! Peggy! We have two wounded and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson Police! Freeze! Hello there! Forrest! Leslie! How's Peggy? Bad, oh my god. Timeline didn't exist. Be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Zara. I we did it. After Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? Fuck yeah. She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's forest. <sighs> Sick. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. Ooh. We're gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. This was really tucked away. And it's been a scream. Yeah! This game's fucking awesome, man. I love it. Oh, everybody! Jennifer, Scott, Cynthia, Tammy, Peggy, Forrest, Murphy, Hot Dave, Chad. Oh. Hey, everybody, Hurricane, thank you for the $50. Nice. How's it going? Hey, Phil. Been listening as I've been working on something the past few hours. Good job with your choices. What you think of the game now that you have played through it all? I will say that in the like on the wrapping uh, section of the stream, we need to see a post-credit scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think there's gonna be a post-credit scene. I'm pretty sure that they are, like, currently on their way to catch him. Man, this game is awesome! Open the door to skip the epilogue and the credits. No, thank you. Yeah! Okay, so... Monty's Pizza. So, okay, Chad... Remember back in the Season 3 Amanda the Adventurer uh, stream where I was talking with Kako about how the concept of Amanda the Adventurer is cool but it was very like underdeveloped and like it needed more polish and like it needed some readjustments to it? This, this is like the ideal Amanda the Adventurer in my opinion. Like it doesn't have like the kitty stuff, it doesn't have like the... Dora the Explorer kind of like aesthetic to it, but like 
every single puzzle and like decision and like dialogue option, everything was just perfect. Purple Max donates three dollars and says, "Hey Phil, I want to say thanks for telling me there was nothing you could do about being trapped in the shotgun room forever. Thank you for the gamer tips. Thank you." He's being cornered, boys. You skipped the end credit scene. No, I have not. I am patiently staying. Literally saved everybody relevant, including Chuck. That one was hard, honestly. But yeah, just... Fucking hell, man. This is like the perfect... Okay, yeah, he's being detained. This is like the perfect little puzzle horror game. Like, everything that I thought Amanda the Adventurer wasn't, this is it. Christian super chats two euros and says, Would have been the best ending if Teddy died, to be honest. <laughs> oh? Oh! Into the whistling points. Oh, man. Shit. But yeah, everything about this game was the perfect, like, kind of like a visual novel slash puzzle game slash horror thing. It's like, I don't know what to say, man. Like, this was the perfectly executed idea that I had after I played Amanda the Adventurer and, like, realized that there was something that you could do with this type of horror game concept. You just needed to take it, like, a little bit further and, like, adjust some ideas. Like, this is perfect. Obviously, this and Amanda the Adventurer were, like, developed, like, separately, obviously. Uh, like, this game probably had years of development time behind it, like, way before Amanda. But I really hope that people, like, enjoy it, because it's, like... This is, like, perfect. Perfect little, like, horror indie game puzzle adventure. Spread the frequency! Hell yeah. Who jumped? Was it the mother or the son? That's a very good question, actually. No idea, though. Oh, man! That was awesome! Oh, shit! Man, what a nice little perfect tiny, tiny like, adventure game, horror game. It is rare that you can make me care for characters that I can't even see. You know what I mean? It's like... Usually, I don't really care about characters in video games that are just seen through, like, text or voice. Like, I actually need uh, some character animations to be able to empathize with them. But no, like, I actually managed to remember and, like, empathize for all these characters. It's awesome. And, like, the design of the killer, like, herself, or, like, himself, was, like, super fucking cool. This is very obviously uh, inspired by the Scream series. If anybody here liked the story to this game, I recommend you watch the Scream movies. Like, it's all about, like, this kind of, kind of thing. Like, multiple serial killers, like, whodunits, like, different identities for the, for the killers, like, every time in each movie. I really recommend that. So, yeah, this is, like, the perfect bite-sized, like, Friday the 13th, like, horror game to play today. I am... I am so happy that I chose right for, like, the first two uh, streams for this season. Hell yeah. Uh, Robotic Hurricane donates $5 and says, What great is there a VR version of this game as well? Oh, I can totally believe it. Like, this game felt like it was the flat mode version of a VR game. Because it's like, it was mostly contained within one location. But anyways, I think I've taken up too much of your time today with all those, with, with these multiple streams. So, uh, thank you for coming. This was awesome. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion 3. So, if you're interested in that, for my very first Switch game that I'm going to be playing on the channel, uh, stick around for that tomorrow. Man, this game was awesome. Two good games to play at the start of the season. That's nice. All right. I'll see everybody, hopefully, tomorrow. Hey, Lycos. 
Thank you for the $12. Team 17 did an amazing job with this game. Absolutely. It is constantly engaging the player and pulls the right strings when it comes to the story and characters. I can't believe that I just sat through six hours of me just listening to people in a room. I mean, sure, I did play around with the paper basket, but aside from that, I was pretty much engaged all the way through. Awesome. All right. That's it for tonight, folks. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh boy, that's a not, that, that's the wrong screen. <laughs> Thank you. What's great is there is a VR version of this game as well. Thank you Techno for the $2. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye.